what's up everybody i'm nervous i'm nervous i don't know what's about to happen this is an open panel night we got team nini and team everybody else so <laughs> i don't know what's about to happen um whose birthday is it i see somebody oh weird gal weirdo happy birthday shout out to weird gal will i'm sorry weird gal wider Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Weird gal wider. I hope I said that right. Y'all know I'll be butchering words. Like the videos in your place because we're about to get right into it. <sighs> make it make sense. Make it make sense. I want to make it make one. Big moves. Surfer. Make it make sense. Tell me how you squeeze it. Just make it make sense. Tell me about the things that you say. Just make it make sense. Tell me about the things in your dream. Hey, let me work out all the things in between. Make it make sense. Tell me how you squeeze it. Just make it make sense. Tell me about the things that you say. Make it make sense. Tell me about the things in your dream. Hey, let me work out all the things in between. Make it make sense. I remember Candy how you look like this. I fly above, I, I, I fly above, I, I fly, no, that what you, no, I fly above. I... Okay. <laughs> and we're back. Even just asking if people liked it, y'all were pretty split. You got Team Nini, who felt everything she said was just about valid. And you got Team Everybody Else, who feels like she's delusional and took absolutely no accountability. That's why I was like, okay, the last video on this is going to have to be an open panel. The link has already been dropped. Anybody is welcome to come on. We did have a little bit left of the interview, so I'm going to just do a quick one with that. Um, I've already did episode, the first part and the second part. This is just the last of the second part. This was a long interview, a long interview. That's about to make Carlos a lot of money. <laughs> it's about to be at a million views. Shout out to Carlos. Um, let's see. That's probably my favorite. Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to rotate some of the other ones too. 10 or 11. And you said, bitch, they don't know what to do without you. She said, these girls walk around like, what do we they do? Don't. Carlos ain't here, bitch, mm -hmm. what are we doing? Um, because you put a battery in their back. <laughs> you do. You tell Kenya everything to say, you're like, now go. Oh, no, yes, no, you do. You put no. A battery in and you always thought Kenya was my favorite. Yes. You, now, who's your favorite, though? My I favorite. love all y'all equally. Yeah, that's a lie. <laughs> who's your favorite, honey? Kenya's always been your favorite. You said Sheree was, was at one point. I would call him dad. Mm -hmm. um, do you think just, listen, there's a certain level of producing and understanding that show mm -hmm. needs. It's the mm -hmm. DNA. It, I, I do say like Destiny Child, mm -hmm. there's a certain level of camaraderie and, and, and people that you need. And I feel like, I feel like everyone's bored. I feel like no one knows what they're doing. I feel like people are there for the wrong reasons. And it's always about the intention and the intention of everyone involved is not at its highest at all. Okay. No. I just, the only thing that I would counter to Carlos is, do you feel like on your current iteration of shows that it's at the highest? That would be my question for Carlos specifically as it applies to his new shows. So if you had to pick a cast for season Sweet 16, who would it be? Okay, and you have the answer too. Um, oh, why? Because you do. And this is my real answer. Nini, Kim, Sheree, Kenya, Portia, Phaedra, and Candy. I don't see Phaedra. Why would Kim be in the mix if they said that she never really showed up to work? Horrible working environment unfair advantages but they continuously say they want kim on the show See, Phaedra being, I mean, well Phaedra's that's well I, I, that's my dream i feel like i feel like we were robbed of getting a candy and Phaedra conversation i do too now i've always said that i feel like i thought that was very and i'm gonna say it and i'm gonna say it i'm gonna send the tale me too me now too. the pump rules mm -hmm. those white kids mm -hmm. said we're dealing with something devastating and crazy mm -hmm. and we're all gonna show up and work mm -hmm. and we all get to show our story and now the show was nominated for an emmy i feel like listen I'm not going to judge what people did. I, it doesn't involve me. It's whatever. Right. God is the only person to judge us. Mm -hmm. As a producer, I feel mm -hmm. like at the end of the day, to your point, if she can forgive Portia, yeah. why can't? And we we got a chance to see that. That's right. 
we should have saw that with Phaedra. And because we did not see Phaedra and Candy deal with the aftermath, mm -hmm. it ruined the show. And it's been years. They could have. She didn't have to be a regular on the show. They should have sat down. Yeah. Everybody wants to know. It would have been the highest rated season, and it may have been even nominated. Um. I feel like Carlos is baiting her into saying things about Candy. Just my opinion. I definitely think that Carlos is baiting her into saying things about Candy. Candy has given probably more than any other cast member in terms of her real life, from AJ being murdered to Mama Joyce hating her husband to Mama Joyce hating her husband today. See, what Nini doesn't understand is in Candy's world, there is a ensemble family similar to the Kardashians. So whereas Nini feels like her bombastic personality is all that's needed for the show, that's not necessarily the case because there's not just a camera crew following Nini around. It's an ensemble cast. Technically, if Candy's family was willing to do this every day, they probably could have their own show. Granted that they acted up like they did on the wedding special. That's an ensemble cast with the lead being Candy. RHOA was an ensemble cast with the lead being Nini. But, you know, it, to each their own. But there definitely is a fan base. My favorite is always going to be Aunt Bertha. It ain't changing over here. I love Kenya. She's my favorite housewife. But I love Aunt Bertha. Um, so, Satra, I haven't done the clues yet, but... Um, I'll put the clues in the members only um, community post just that way. So it's fair so that everybody can um, have a shot. If I don't do it like random and do numbers, I don't know. You know, it's all up in the air, but definitely those that two first is going to be one of y'all's. <laughs> you got a good shot. Well, they control those nominations. So I don't know about all of that. Um, do you think, um, first of all, I don't even know the girls that are on the show over there. Um, first of all, I don't even know the girls that are on the show over there. Um, I would not say myself. I would say uh, Portia for sure. I think Portia is quite entertaining. I think you have to have Candy because she's been there for so long and people feel like, you know, for whatever reason, Candy needs to be there and that way Candy can get rid and uh, she needs to be there. Um, Marlo is good there. I think Kenya will be there. Um, I have had a few run-ins with Drew. Just used to patronize my uh, lounge a lot. So I have a, you know, I think she's good there. I think I like seeing Drew on the show. Um, hmm, I don't have anyone else that I would say at the moment. I couldn't. I can't say Phaedra, and I and I can't say Sheree. Okay. Uh, I I don't mind Kim if she's coming to go to work. Yes, agreed. Yeah, because a lot of times she doesn't come to work, so that would be an issue there. Okay. I also think they need to find somebody new. There's so many fabulous girls who have a baby. I I, I do. I want to should be doing in-person interviews. Okay, I, I don't want to be just fine. You know, I, I know you are going to be. Would you do Love and Marriage Atlanta? Um, I, I'm not in a marriage. <laughs> And I don't even have a current love. <laughs> I guess my eyes are loving on some people, but I'm not currently in love with anybody. Okay. I'm not in a relationship. But if they want a single girl on the show to flirt with their husbands, sure. <laughs> because every show has a single person, right? Yes. Yeah, so I don't mind being this. This will be the first time in my life I've ever done anything where I'm like the single person. Okay. So you never know. By the time Love and Marriage Atlanta hits Atlanta, maybe I'll be available. Or maybe I'll, maybe I'll be in a relationship. Okay. You never know. So are you planning to do that? Only if I'm able to get you. Well, you can only have stars around me. I don't want those tired girls <laughs> that you go and drag up from some other old show and you're sitting them over oh! here. I do not. Okay. So <laughs> I'm nervous. What's up, everybody? Let's start with Timeless. You're muted, Timeless. Everybody's muted. Hello? Hey, Tamara. Hi, how you doing? I'm Can good. You me? This I is yes, ma'am. So where are you standing? Did you like the interview? Let's start there. I thought the interview was okay. I just had a problem with her first not taking accountability for how she was acting that last season she was on. Okay. She, she was well. acting out of character. She was going through something admit to that and you did some things that were out of line number one number two why you keep going after people who have not even mentioned you the thing that, that was carlos you, timeless that was carlos thank you 
But Nene was with the made shit. it her point to elaborate on it, which she put herself in there. She's an adult. She knew what she was doing. For her to say certain people weren't stars, and I'm going to say Candy, but she's the one that's on all these different shows, all these different platforms, getting these awards, creating Broadway shows. She's the one doing all this, putting in the work and hustling to get what she wants. Welcome back to my channel. If this is I want to understand why you coming for her so hard when you can't even touch the accolade she has. Now, I could understand it if Candy had a whole lot to say about her, but she hasn't even mentioned her. And for her to act like she don't know when, why her and Candy had a falling out, that's just oblivious to me. Everything she... She, she, to me, she was just playing the blame game and just Why do you not think that her and Candy fell out. Wasn't it when she had told Candy, I had it this morning, it was something they had got into, and Candy responded. I, she had, I can't even You're remember about the, the raccoon comment, yes. I mean, I yeah. don't think that she ever liked Candy, to be honest with you, because Candy came with a certain amount of money. So again, Candy came with a certain amount of celebrity. And season one, it was the Nini show. Season two, here you are adding people to a cast that Nini felt like she built. I don't think Candy was her choice. I don't think she thought that Candy lived the lifestyle because Candy had a regular home um, and just a nice car and didn't necessarily care about clothes or fashion. And Nini was trying to keep up with the Joneses. It, it, it was it was also season two you have to remember was not i think it had less to do with the you know candy's personality and all of the things that have played out like season two they were beefing over don't be tardy because remember kim was i mean it was supposed to be me nee, kim nini kim and candy on the song then you know they took uh nini off in a shady way and so that sparked everything but then remember they got close again when they did the Arte ego photo shoots because candy's family member had just died and Nini did the really nice photo shoot for her. They've had a love-hate relationship for a while. Yeah, but I think she's dragged it out too long. Some things you need to learn to let go. You, you don't think Candy did when uh, I, I think it was season six or I forget, I think it was like season six or, or, or nine, if I'm not mistaken, where they got the I said what I said and what you said was some bull. You don't think that was it? I mean, Candy was dragging that out like really? Everybody was saying Mama Mama Joyce was crazy for drag, trying to say uh, Carmen was sleeping with her husband. Actually, what Nini said was her mama would never be low down in the gutter. But how would Nini know? Because her mom gave her to her aunt. That's one of the things Ooh. I have a big problem with. Well, Nini, well, Nini was not actually able to be with her mother. And that was one of those things that she should have been bonding with Kenya and Marlo about, right? But it's very difficult to say what a mother will do or it's very easy to say when you don't have anything to counter that with. That was not cool. Don't disrespect somebody's mom, even if the mom is acting ridiculous, right? That was just not, that was not okay. And I wouldn't have liked her either. And Candy was more gracious than I would have been because I would have said, well, let's talk about mothers. So half, but half the cast is, and see, that's the thing that I, that, I, that, 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 that cracks me up with, with all of this is that, and it, and it goes always, not just with Nene. I'll use the current season as an example. Uh, 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 you know, the, the like, okay, Marlo will do something. And everybody's like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe she would do that. Another cast member will do the same exact thing, barring, you know, uh, you know a difference in verbiage. And I think people overlook it. And I think that, that had, that's happened to Nini a lot over the past, where she's gotten to these petty arguments with the girls over whatever. And everybody looks over it when it's done to her but when she does it to somebody else it's, it's magnified i really do think that okay so you believe that marlo this season this whole season was not hitting way too below the belt you think everything that was coming out her mouth was okay let let's keep it a a, a buck you I'm, think I'm everything it, I'm, keeping, I'm keeping it a whole buck and i think again everybody on the show does things that are you know, that people can view tasteless. 
Was it tasteless when Kenya was basically trying to sleep with Phaedra's husband? Can be. I said Kenya. Kenya was oh, oh, so, so Kenya wasn't trying to get with Kenya wasn't trying to get with Apollo. Apollo, he's I don't think fly. so. He's I don't think fly. so. What? I don't think so. <laughs> but I'm not gonna say what Kenya did oh, Lord. I wouldn't have took offense to. Because when she did that, I was like, you don't you don't you don't even play like that. I saw what she was doing. I caught the flirtation. But what I'm talking about, because you mentioned this season, stuff that was coming out of stuff that was coming out of Marlo's mouth. If you if you keep it real, I bet you if it wasn't on TV, Marlo would have got the mouth, the, the taste slapped out of her mouth because she was out of order out of line i know for me the stuff she was saying she was just she was stepping over the line and it wouldn't have went it wouldn't have, we're trying to do reality tv stop trying to get so low just to get people to say "Ooh." the shade nini was throwing while she was doing the interview it wasn't hard hitting below the belt it was hateration that was definitely a hater that was too obvious. Was it hateration or opinion? Who, who said something about a hater? Who, who Her, chimed in? Phil. Okay. Definitely <laughs> a straight hater. <laughs> so, so sorry. If somebody, if somebody invites you on their show and asks you a question about a person, are you just going to be like, "Oh, I'll pass," knowing the, the knowing the magnitude of you having having this interview, an interview where no. you've had more more combined uh, more views. Than all of the housewives and their individual inter uh, interviews combined. Okay, so no, it's a difference, in my opinion. Just a, one man's unpopular opinion. The problem with Nene is she's a me person. It's only I, 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 I. I built this is my show. I am the only star. She's a hater. To take away from what Kenya and Candy has accomplished. Before Housewives, during Housewives, and half that Housewives is a hater. She's a straight up hater saying Candy is overpaid. Why are you worried about the next woman's money? And I'm not even the biggest Candy fan, but you're a straight up hater. That half is a hater. Society says that. We all say that. Every Sunday when we watch Real Housewives, we're like, oh my God, Candy's so boring. She's so overpaid. What, no, 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 no. I, I don't say that. that. I don't, I don't say that. that. I don't never say that. Okay, maybe on the other channels. So, maybe on anything. Dewan, yeah. Dewan, hold on, hold on one second. Dewan, you seem to be the only Nini person. I then invited the Nini fans to come up. Uh, Dewan, stand your ground. Ma'am, <laughs> ma'am. Oh, hold I'm, on, I'm, I'm, I'm a ten Nini toes. fan. I'm, ten toes. <laughs> I'm a Nini fan, but she's still a hater. She That part two was so bad when part one was so good. It's crazy. She is a hater. Why can't she say anything nice about the other women? Well, I don't understand that. She so said good. in part one, she it's literally said, we were so excited to have Kenya because she was Miss America. You know, um, she had a very good, but she spoke so highly of that. She did. But Kenya not a star? Kenya not a star? Candy not a star? Mm -hmm. you, know, she, you know, she answered those, and, and I. she answered those I think in the realm of what reality TV was when Nene was popping, you need no, 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 <laughs> no. So, Kenya's a star right now. Yeah, she is a star. <laughs> She's a star on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. All the women are stars on that show. But my mm. issue is, and it's just gonna sound oh. crazy. Uh -oh. All of them. You know why I say all? Because when Nene was going through her issues with Bravo, she wanted everybody to stand with the black woman, right? So if you want everybody to stand with you as a black woman, why don't you stand with other black women? She literally said she saved Portia's job. She told them to give Claudia the pension mm -hmm. taken from Demetra. She uh, that was mm -hmm. five years ago. That was five, ten seasons ago. We're talking about currently. What have you done for me lately? In the words of Janet Jackson. So, so I'm confused now. Now that this mm -hmm. one, not Janet. So, so is she supposed to every single year? save another housewives i'm confused she hasn't done anything since five years ago all we talking about is her five years ago when she was on real housewives of atlanta what has she done lately that part. She can't even save her own job 
I, I just don't it. understand how. <laughs> I, I, listen, I understand I, you, I, I, let, me, let me inject really quickly. Let me inject really quickly. First off, you guys, we have over 400 people in here. Hit the like button. Secondly, just really quickly, um, I'm going to go around and you tell me just briefly, Nini fan or not, right? So let's start there because that might help because there's not a lot of people who have avatars. So Timeless30, are you a Nini fan? Did you like the interview? I like the interview. I'm half and half. I'm a sometimes with Nini. I can't say I'm not a fan at all. I'm a sometimes with Nini. Perfect. Candice, Nini fan, did you like the interview? No, I didn't like the interview. And Not you took a breath actually, before you answered the question. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm, I'm going to start off with that first. I did not like the interview. And I think um, through that interview, it pushed me to a negative thought toward Nini. She okay. just, it just seems like, first of all, you have two people who were really, on, really big quick, with Bravo. Quick, hold on. Really quickly, okay, I'm gonna okay, come right okay. back to you, but I just wanna I just wanna set the scene up because I okay. right now I feel like Dewan is the only Nini fan and he's windmilling for his life. Um okay. Fahrenheit seven nine six nine one Nini fan and did you like the interview? Sorry, I'm busy laughing over here. Um I'm a sometime Nini fan. She just lost me this year. She just needs to get off the I hate Bravo, I hate Candy, I hate everybody. That's did that's like done me wrong. I I didn't care for it, especially not the second part. The one I need. Oh, we know you're a Nini fan. Did you like the interview? Loved both of them, and it, again for the record, she's had more views in those two single interviews than any of these housewives have had in any of their independent interviews. Okay, cue the content guy. I liked Nini a couple faces ago, and no, I didn't like the interview. Truth be told, yes, it may have had the most views for her to do an interview like that, but you got to also think about how many fans she could have possibly lost through that interview as well. Ding, ding, ding. Um, unpopular opinion. Nini fan, did you like the interview? Nini fan, when she's not being a hater. I liked part one, but hated, despised. Part two was absolutely awful. No accountability and lack of self-awareness. But love season one, two, three, and four, and five, Nene, love them. She's Autumn a hater. <laughs> Phil is riled up. Autumn in LA. Nene fan. I'm a Nene, like the interview? I'm a Nene fan. I like the interview, but more importantly, I'm a Candy fan. So she lost me, but she lost me when she talked about Candy. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, is it Precious B? It's um, Press B. Press B. Press B. Press B. Yeah. So I used, I still like her and I appreciate what she did for the housewives. Like, we're not going to deny that. But she needs to grow up. That's all I was like. Are you a fan of hers, though? You, I'm in between. Did you like the video? The, or the interview? interview? Not this one. The first one was a little better. I didn't really like this one. Last but not least, Tamara. Nini fan, did you like the interview? Um, Yes, I'm still a Nini fan. Hey, man. Um, hey. And I love both interviews because it gave us all that we know about Nini. Yes, Nini is a hater. She's always hated on Candy. Still love Nini. Still love Candy. Nini's that girlfriend that you know is wrong so many times, but she's fun, she's honest, and you have to take the good with the bad with her. But I think her ego, that's her biggest downfall. Her ego's too big. She knows how to play the game. She showed that, how she um, cozied up to Claudia, because Claudia's doing her show that she wanted to do. Um, she cozied up to Andy in that interview, um, but she still has it in for Candy. And I have a problem with her on that one point. Just one more thing, ma'am. Can, one thing about Nini, my sister told me this. Every housewife has shown their home life. Nini, we know about her home life and her and Greg, but she never goes in depth with her family. It is a show about families, no matter what. And she does not bring her family issues. She just talked about her son because this happened. What about her mom? What about her sisters? She doesn't talk about it. So no, she can't have the show unless she's willing to open up to the good and the bad. Now, you know, I'm a fair person. 
we did low key find out that her mom was laying it low and spreading it wide with her, with her husband's best friend and that Nini got sent down as a result because she was the product of her mom cheating. So we did find out about that. And, and she brought both both uh, possible fathers on the show. Was that season one and we saw that man that looked just like Bryson? I, mean, I think it was three or four. She actually. does this all the time. She does good. And then that mouth keeps going. And when she goes to Candy, I don't think she's really reading the rooms online because Candy has a strong fan base for good reason. She's she's solid. Candy's solid. You're not going to shame her. You're not going to shame her with her own life, but she tells you who she is. That's Nene a star. Nene That's needs a to star. do more of that. She needs to do more of that. Tell us who she really is, not the facade, but the real Nene. Yeah, I mean, I I think when Nene did that, that was season one, and I'm you know I'm a straight shooter. Maybe she did that because she realized it had gone too far. By the time you are exposing your whole family for a storyline, it might have been too far. You then found your real daddy. Now her real daddy won't have anything to do with her. I do think, though, that if I would have liked to have seen Greg's children really come up and really say how they felt. Right. That, that would have been, been interesting if, if Nini really did steal Greg from their mama. Because I think that that's what the whole jest was. And how she you know, said that she was close with her sisters, but in all honesty, they were not. So my yeah. my thing would be, where are all your, your interpersonal relationships dating way back? Because we've seen a few people. We saw Diana. But other than that, like, I don't know anybody who is still close personal friends with Nene. She like knows Wendy how to Williams. hide it. She's she like knows Wendy who. Williams. She's like Wendy Williams. Wendy has no friends. You cannot be in the line like throwing shade at people and think they're going to be there for you. Even when she mentioned Wendy, she's still playing a game with Wendy. She didn't really throw Wendy under the bus like she could have. She knows a lot of her business. Um, she knows how to play the game. But to me, Candy should have been the person she should have been kissing up to. Because Candy has plays. She has television shows. No, Candy is not enough. But Candy knows that. That's why her escape show blew up. Because she knows it's not just about her. She needs the right people to make her shine. Exactly. She's not, she's not Let, me address, right. Let me address this really quick. You allowed your child to think that somebody was their father because you chose to sleep with their father's best friend. And then you sent that child away and left Nini probably emotionally crippled to some degree. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to mince my words with that because even though I give Nini a hard time, I know what it means to be a child without a parent. Yep. So it's the same thing with Kenya's mom. I really don't have very much respect for her. Um, at Marlo's mom, there was, I believe that there was some like drug addiction and that does change my vantage point to some degree. But I really think that that stunted Nini's growth, just like it does a lot of us who don't have a parent. So if the expectation is that I don't say anything, I get it, Deborah. But for the most part, I, I can't get with, that type of flippant parenting. I'm sorry. You sent your child away because you chose to sleep with somebody else. And if Nene won't say it, I did it. Sorry. Um, but Candace, had you gone in? Because I told you I would come back to you first. Yes. Um, all I saw from both of those interviews is just two people. This is two people who used to work for Bravo, right? They were in when it was in, and now that they're out, you've got Mr. King here, whose focus is on Bravo shows, the way he's drilling in on a Real Housewives franchise, and not worrying about his own. It just, they both look very salty, very salty. And Nene, she went in there, and I don't think she, like, I agree with you, she didn't realize that. Carlos put that battery in her back. That's what he did. And like he did, Kendra. I just I just couldn't believe it. Just sitting there and, and all these how how Nini dragged most of the cast members, but she quickly forgets that when she got onto that TV show with Donald Trump, 
it was like, forget everybody. I'm busy cashing Trump checks. That well, part. where was all your where was all your complaining then? Where were all those complaints then? Now you want to complain now because the checks have stopped. Mm. All of a sudden you were done wrong. But when you were all talking about them Trump checks, you wasn't crying about none of this. Mm. So you just I just see it as her trying to get back in the spotlight. And then you you down all these people for Bravo and you sue them and this and the other. Now you end this interview talking about you wouldn't mind remending things with Andy. Girl, bye. Andy's not coming nowhere near you. That part got me. Why would you? I feel like there's a certain level of if you are big enough, I can forgive you. Yep. Uh, Andy, favoritism. Wendy, same boat. Fav- favoritism. If there was somebody she felt was beneath her, she would not be so inclined to forgive. But for these people, when she said she would like to find her way back to Andy, I was like, why? Me what, too. What, like, what? It, Nini, yeah, exactly. We can hate, about- we can hate on her as much as we want. Nini is a personality, and Nini has the potential to be a reality star. She already knows the formula that works for her. She just needs to, you know, switch up a few things, and she could be it. She doesn't technically need Bravo, in my opinion. Yeah. So, so what, what's your and nobody, that- nobody, nobody, nobody blackballed her. She blackballed herself. Absolutely. She didn't even. She can't even take the initiative to 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 do a YouTube page. She could create her own reality show. Yeah. You you could be going to watch her on YouTube at a certain time. I mean, look at um, Kiki. Kiki Palmer. She has a whole thing she does and, and puts out content. There's a whole lot you can do. It's called uh, to take the initiative to get what you want. You got a lot of mouth to try and get what you want, but you don't have the initiative to do it yourself. She would have had one. I disagree. If Andy didn't steal it from her. I mean, uh, oh, uh, would it, would Andy, wait, would Andy steal? <laughs> she would have had Watch What Happens Live if Andy didn't steal it from her. And that's a well known She fact. never said that she was trying to do it herself. She said she gave him the idea, the, the idea to do it. So, well, stay, yeah, let's well, not well, even go well, there. Need, well, then my girl need to be an EP. She need to be an EP. Bye. Wait, I don't, well, I don't, she don't remember. Well, she for it. No. She I don't remember her saying. Hold on, I don't remember her saying that she gave Andy the idea for Watch What Happens Live. Just say it in the mm-hmm. second. She said it. She just said. It. Yeah, she said it. And, and she she gave him the idea for the reunions, and yeah, she so she him. also. I checked on that. He was doing reunions in Watch What Happens Live for um, Orange County. He just had the girls right. on Watch What Happens Live, so that could not have been Nini's brainchild. More, but I mean, that's what right she points. said. That's what she said. She also said that she was the blueprint for the Kardashians, but the Kardashians came out a year before R H O A. Exactly, <laughs> and he didn't fact check her when she said Nini, it. Nini can't do a show because she called a network racist. No, you're a you have made yourself a liability at this point. That's true. Networks are afraid that you may sue them. That's a strong thing to call someone a drug addict, and somebody a um, racist, they're not going to want to work with you. I'm sorry. I wish NeNe could get back on TV. Like, I think we're all NeNe fans, and we would love to see mm-hmm. her back on something. But she right. has mm-hmm. to take some accountability for your role in the situation. That's true. This, they gave you a sixth episode because you shut your laptop down during the reunion. That's the, Super mm. Bowl of, mm. that's the Super Bowl of the whole season. You can storm off. You can get angry, scream, and yell, but you have to complete it. When she shut yeah. down that laptop, that signed her fate. She had already had Listen. that issue with the cameraman. That was it. Oh, she could even pop back up and say, hello, I'm still here. She right, had to no. turn back and I think the, the cameraman that shouldn't have been in her closet. I, oh, okay. Well, you know, yeah. are, you going, are you going? He wasn't in the listen. closet. Listen. He was in her room, but he wasn't listen. in the closet. Shouldn't have been there. Nene was yeah. on a Real House of Atla- Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion and acted like she was on a ninety-day fiance tell-all. <laughs> you don't shut no laptop down like that. 
Okay. You know, like, like really, really. Yes, you. The quarterback cannot okay. say I don't want to play no more in the Super Bowl because he's tired. That part. That well, part. Um, I, I, I want to say, can I, can I jump in really quickly because to get back specifically to what was said in in part one and part two. She said specifically, and I don't know if you guys picked up on this. I used to have the ability to pick up the phone and call the president of Bravo. To me, yeah. that was kind of like a context clue. Like Nini was one of those people, like Vicky Gumbelson, who definitely were an integral part of these franchises, but did not understand that there probably is protocol. Because in their mind, they're thinking, I done made this people, I done made them all this money. I'll pick up the phone, I'll call, I'll get what I want. There is an influence that comes with being able to call and pick up the president of the company. I, I did y'all pick up on that? Because to me, that says a lot. Like, yes. she yeah, but that shows how she didn't know how to play the game. If you had so much clout, you got to know how to move and shake in that arena. Can't be tr- do what you want to do and say what you want to say and think there's right. not going to be any repercussions. Right. It's just but like if you have know. a job, you can be the best at what you do, but don't get a big head to think they can't fire you. Well, I don't think Nene has the business acumen Candy does. I'm sure Candy has everybody's number on speed dial. I mean, come on, she has Sammy well in her play. Candy doesn't play those games. She doesn't boast in front of the camera. Now, I don't know how she is behind the camera. She's obviously very savvy. But like you said, Nene still does not know how to play the game. I do not think she should do reality shows. I think she should do a show, a regular show, like Jean Smart and Hacks. I don't know if you guys ever watched Hacks. I think she should do a show about a reality star trying to make a comeback based on her life. I do not think she should do reality at all, period. I agree. I agree. She can't well, act. Well, she cannot it, act it, like Jean Smart. Well, oh, she's smart as an Emmy Award winning actress. Nene Nene, cannot no, act. No, that's not, that's she not she fair. Take some not, acting not, lessons. We, she, she can read. Not, not, she can right. read and she can listen and she can learn. So, so Nene, Nene can't act, but Cynthia can. I said playing herself. Mm, her no, that was a thing she did awful. <laughs> I think she can Hold on, really quick. Let me get to this super chat. Uh, Brandon Martin, thank you so much. I vote Mims to interview Nene. Nene would curse me out. I'd be the next one on her hit list. <laughs> I'm watching. Do you think if Nene said all nice things about her coworkers and called them all stars, Nene would be criticized as being fake? Mm. Yeah. That's not what that she was. I don't, I don't think that she needed to in any way lie. If she doesn't feel somebody is a star, don't say it. Carl, she didn't right. have to answer any question that Carlos threw at her. She chose to. I think that they kind of knew what type of interview this was going to be. And it got our t- it got people's attention. They almost have a million views. So I'm for, I'm here for the interview. There were p- times that I got annoyed because I felt it was delu. I felt like there was like delusion, like running rampant. And like Gabor says, words matter. And I could tell that they were just throwing things out. But for the mm-hmm. most part, I do think that this could revive something. It's reviving interest in her. She's trending again. And if she brought this level of unconcerned, I'm going to say just whatever I want to another reality show, it probably would do pretty well. Q, jump in because you've been quiet and that always scares me. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I think I think one of the things Nene has to realize, and that's, this goes for anybody, you can be replaced. It doesn't have to be a good replacement, but anybody can be replaced. Reality star, the, the call center person, anybody can be replaced. Mm-hmm. You built something that, that that means absolutely nothing. Look how many companies have been built and taken over by somebody, or how many things have been you know built and 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 destroyed. But I I find it very funny when she's like, and and a lot of I, a lot of the reality girls do this. Oh no, I don't watch the show, but I can name fifteen people that's on the show. Mm-hmm. So it's like, right. I found that I found that real I found that interesting. Um, I do not think that Nene nor Candy really care for each other. I think they try to, um, but there's just not there. There's, they're just not each other's cup of tea, and I just think that is what it is. But I will say, Nene is a hater. I did not like part two of the reunion, and for the life of me, I could not understand why Nene and Carlisha was up there crying. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, girl, what was waiting for oh, Carlisa to come out. You said his name is No Children Left Behind. 
Honey, okay. oh, the, I'm sorry. I'm I was right. yelling I'm and seen. And seen. That's right. all I was yelling. I, I don't know why. Car, I don't know why Nene and the babysitter was up there crying. The babysitter, aka Carlisha. I don't know why she was up there crying. Um, I'm not interested in seeing Nene act. I, she cannot act. Candy can't act. Cynthia can't act. Um, I don't. I never knew who Kenya was before she was on the show. I just thought Kenya. I was like, oh, that's the girl that walked past Whitney Houston. I did never knew who Kenya was. Oh. Um, I think Kenya is a star now. I think Candy is a star outside of reality show and on TV. And what's crazy is the only thing about Nene is this is her claim to fame. Like nobody's talking about when she was on Glee. Nobody was talking about when she was on that other show. I loved Coach Rise. <laughs> nobody talked. Nobody. I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it. On didn't watch Broadway. It could have been called Coach Lee because it was. See, the same I forgot. I forgot that she was talking movie. about Nene up on this, up on Housewives, and that's all she's talking about. I'm not interested in. Well, I don't watch anything Carlos produced anyway, but I'm not interested mm -hmm. in her being back on TV. So I just think you know the second, the second part of the interview I was like girl what is happening and it's always I was a good friend I was a good friend I I I I and I'm like girl can you take accountability for anything I've that's one of the things where I never liked Nene like there was a part of me where she I never liked Nene but that she can never take accountability for anything it's always somebody else did to her it's never yes. What she did to somebody else for them to do, you know, for somebody to do something like she was like, I don't know why Candy has so much hostility against me. I'm like, girl, because of how you came yeah. your damn mouth, like you got a reckless ass mouth, and yes. I'm surprised that nobody punched you in your mouth yet. Mm -hmm. like, but yet, but yet, she quick to go run to Andy, um, like so. And 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 Nene. You did call. You didn't call the network races. You call Andy races. You also call Andy a coke head. So, yep. so for you to say, and if for, for Carlisha to be like, I don't know why y'all just can't sit down and have a three hour interview. Um, were you not around when she went on her hate train? See, we could have a we could have a three hour sit down and, and, and figure out what happens if you didn't go on a hate train for me. You went on a hate train for me, so I don't care. I don't care if you work or don't work, but you won't work over here. As long as I'm in charge, and as long as I'm running the, the the ship over here, you won't come over here and work. And you keep on playing; your ass won't work nowhere else. And that's what Carlos did to her. I mean, that's what um, mm. Andy did. So it is what it is. Nene, good luck. You could. They didn't even bring you back for season two of, of College Hill. That's sad. College Hill. They didn't bring you back. Hmm. You got some problems, sis. So, the shade, the shade. That was, that was, they don't, that's not a traditional ensemble, though. It don't matter what it is. They ain't call her back. They call AJ <laughs> back. They ain't call Nene back. So, so and then I don't believe that she had all these deals. Nobody's interested in the Nene talk show. We had Wendy. We didn't need Nene. So we're not interested in this stuff. You were made for reality TV. And then my final thing, this is where I was like, okay, this interview, y'all y'all drunk or something. But Nene to sit up there and say, I should be as big as Kim Kardashian or bigger than Kim Kardashian. Yeah. First of all, I'm Girl, like, stop. Oh, you know, Kardashians <laughs> We we can feel how we want to feel about them, but for Nene to think she was a sex symbol, Nene, nah, that big wide body a sex symbol. Oh my god! No. <laughs> and for you to and I oh, <laughs> oh Kardashian came like out me before you. The Kardashians came out before you. There is no way that you should be a bigger star. Them than Kim Kardashian, no matter how mm -hmm. we feel about them, there's no way that you think you should be as big or a bigger star for them. They were not even on the same network. And on top of that, this was the Kardashians and Real Housewives of Atlanta are two different kind of shows. Mm -hmm. So she keeps I, comparing herself to well, people that she shouldn't compare that's herself to. And then for Carly, I, to sit up there and say, Do you think you should be as big as Kim? Girl, I was like, Child, this, this punk, I can't, I can't, I don't have time for this. I think she well, met see, Kim Goziak. Go I think she no, met. No, 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 no. They meant that she could be the Kim Car Kardashian yes. of South Georgia. Of South no. Georgia. South no. South no. Georgia. No. <laughs> um, no. Let me paraphrase what, what Q was trying to say. No, I said it. <laughs> let me paraphrase. <laughs> I think what Q was trying to say was, Kim Kardashian, although she's probably one of the most hated people, there are certain lanes that Kim was in, especially as it applied to fashion and lifestyle things, things yes. that Nene was not necessarily in. 
So to say that her shoe dazzle deal did not get pushed the way Kim Kardashian's shoe dazzle deal got pushed is almost kind of laughable because um, like Gabor was saying, Kim is a beauty brand. Nini's brand was all in her personality. Nini didn't have like the money like that and she didn't have the clothes. We found out when her and Marlo had it out that everything that Nini had that was nice actually came from Marlo. Nini got that shoe dazzle deal because Nini was a top reality star. She was liked, but she was not necessarily a fashion girl. Just just throwing that out there. Again, comparing herself to people she shouldn't be comparing herself to. Leggings and a in a t shirt on. I just found it funny. I just think Nini was meant for you. Was meant for you, and you and you messed it up. You there it is. I'm not saying stuff didn't happen yes. behind the scenes. I believe stuff happened behind the scenes. I believe that y'all weren't treated the same way that maybe Beverly Hills or OC was right. treated. But right. however, y'all became the number one mm-hmm. housewife show. You you helped your, your place in culture and your ego got the best of you. You felt threatened when, when certain people came on. When mm-hmm. Kenya came on the show, no matter how I feel about Kenya, when Kenya came on the show, you felt threatened. And for you to be like, oh, I saved this person, I saved that person, they didn't do it for me, your job wasn't on the line. You saved Portia because her job was on the line. You saved Claudia because her job was on the line. Cynthia, her job was on the line. They didn't come for you because your job wasn't on the line until that last season. Whether And my thing is, again, I can't tell anybody what to do, but I might have took those six episodes and showed off where they would have been wow. like, oh, keep on filming with you. Like some sometimes that's what we gotta do. Like that's what Quad did. I can't stand Quad, but when she was made a friend of, she made sure that she became a main star mm-hmm. again. Main exactly. Season. Yep. Um, really again. quick. Shannon says, Thank you so much for the super chat. Shannon says Nini continues to attack the black woman on RHOA, but always forgives and wants to work with the racist white woman. Repeated attempts to work with Kim Zolciak. That part, I don't get that it. That part. part. Um, she kept but, double yeah. talking herself in the interview. She's saying one mm-hmm. thing about her, but then the next minute she should come back. I, I just I, all of that. Re, hold on, really, really quickly. I'm gonna need to. I think that there are some Nini fans who have something to say. My popcorn is ready, so I need about like two or three people on the panel that don't mind like dropping down. Does anybody? All right, I'll, I'll drop down. I'll, down here. I'll drop. I'll drop down as well. Thank you. Thank you guys for coming up. Um. So yeah, I need three Nini fans. Come on. Uh, the panel is open. That's why I asked if the people up here were Nini fans or not. Mostly said that they were, but they have some issues with her, and that's fair. the The link has been dropped, so go ahead and jump in. Um, can I ask people- a, quick, a question? Yeah. What's the difference between you know because everybody's bringing up the um, Andy and his substance abuse stuff. What's the difference between uh, Kathy Griffin, who wrote an entire book about it and talked about mm-hmm. how Andy and her went on benders and all of this stuff and, you know, how she would show up to watch what happened lives and they would do blow together before the show? That never happened. She said, because I'm a Kathy Griffin fan, she does not do drugs and she does not drink at all. No, but she said Andy. Had- she made allegations about Andy, but I think the one, the one, am I saying that right? Of course. The one. Yeah. You have to think everybody is saying, well, Bethany can say all these things and it must be a white black thing. No, Kathy Griffin is very much not a black woman, said all these things and was excommunicated from the channel. That's why I think that that one part is not necessarily a black or white thing. Right. I mean, you can counter me if you I don't think it's a black and white thing either. I think that <laughs> I think it's two different situations also. Like, again, Kathy Griffin and Nene are two different people. From from looking at the camera, Nene had it all. She had the show. She was a longest running housewife. There was rumors that she was getting paid like $2 million. She had all these deals going on. She was on this show. She was on that show. And then she it seemed like she didn't get her way. So then she went on a hate train. She went on a... She was crying in the lobby of the hotel. She went on this show. She went on that show. She called up Ben, 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 whatever his name was. Ben Crump. And, and for us, it's like... Where did all this come from with Kathy? It was they it was already rumblings of them not getting along and them feeling some kind of way towards each other. It, I just feel like you know it, it's just I mean even after she did all that, she went on to host CNN New Year with Anders. I mean with Anderson Cooper, Andy's best friend for five years before you know she got kicked off because of the whole Trump thing. And so again, I just think it's tomatoes, tomatoes. You know, with 
But what, what, you, they, what they want to do with individual stars. No, but what you got to realize, okay, hit Kathy and him did have that fallout, but Kathy didn't sue him, truly, bravo, and she technically wasn't really working under Andy. If Correct me if I'm wrong, right? I, I, so I, I, that, the Kathy I mean, Griffin thing like, was Kathy Griffin and being Bobby Brown put bravo on the map. Yeah, I was Prior to Housewives, there was Kathy Griffin's show and being Bobby Brown. Okay. Um, then Housewife comes along. Kathy Gritz gets her own talk show and she does not get renewed, even though her ratings, she's alleged, were around the same as Watch What Happens Live. She felt like Andy took her stick. She and, and Andy ended up with the late night talk show. Andy ended up with her job on CNN. Um, and so she is disgruntled about that. She felt similar to Nini, where Bravo was built on her back and she did not get what she deserved in the end. Okay. Um, but I we got some new people and chocolate Nini fan. Yes. Let them have it, chocolate. <laughs> well, go ahead and give it to them. <laughs> okay. First of all, Nini. Where Nini is coming from, see, everyone, they just don't like her, period. Because over the last few years, Candy has built up this, this uh, hate Nini type of coalition. So it's like, you can't even, these people, they're not trying to hear anything. But Nini is exactly right. She built that show, like you said, ma'am, it was built on her back, period. So if she says it would be no R.O. R O H A because of her. That's exactly the truth. Because Nene built the show. Now I'm African American, black, whatever you want to call it. We all dealt with racism. Mims, have you ever dealt with racism at a job? At a job at the yeah, store? Somewhere where you worked at. Have you ever worked somewhere and they picked a little blonde hair, blue eyed girl over you? I can't hear. I'm you. trying to think. I'm trying to think oh. if that's happened at work. I mean, it's happened in other ways, but I don't know that I've dealt directly with it. Maybe there's a glass ceiling that I wasn't aware of. But... Yeah, I understand where you're coming from. Okay, I mean, right. because my so hair what is just I'm as blonde is... and long. Okay, so let's go back to this. So <laughs> how many, like my great-grandmother, she used to clean houses for a mm -hmm. living for the blonde hair, blue-eyed people. Like, and my auntie and my great auntie, my granddaddy drove for them. So a lot of them took stuff just because they need a check, right? I'm going to put up with it because I need a check. Regardless if that man over there don't like me because I'm chocolate. Guess what? I need a check. So people put up with stuff and everybody has a tipping point. And just like Nene said, she wasn't the only one that felt like Andy was racist. You know what I'm saying? They all knew it, but when it's going to affect they check, which is smart, they're not going to say anything, right? Because they don't want to mess up their money. But as soon as you speak up and take up for yourself, oh, she called me racist. Well, that doesn't mean that he's not racist. They, She was retaliated against because she spoke up. And you're not going to have girls like a candy because they need the show. Right, these women like okay, Candy. She's a businesswoman, but she uses the platform to sell the products. We all know that we are fickle as people. When she when she go off that TV show, all that stuff she's selling, the sales gonna go down. These women need the shows. Not true, but okay. Not true, but I don't think, I don't yeah, think so I don't see really. Who's buying that from Candy at I all? Like. I just don't like the fact that y'all like, oh, well, she said something about that. She called him racist. What do you think? Yeah, she no. looked like a black woman that stood up for herself and said, bump a check. Look, can I still say where but I work? But I've dealt with that in my environment. So a lot. understand it then. Don't bash somebody. You the main one, man. I, I, can, I, can, uh, okay. I, understand. I can't understand it. Hold on. Hold on. We, we're going to hold on. Come on, ma'am. Let's get it together. Now, get this channel now, together. Now, chocolate, <laughs> I know we're passionate, <laughs> but um, let's not do any like personal attacks. Well, but I'm not doing well. I didn't like I it. I it just don't me. like it when people say people spread it wide for something. <laughs> something that your parents do doesn't have that was me. to do with Look, you. That 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 was me. I I I know it was you. I'll take account. I'll take accountability for that because <laughs> I have like a I have a real aversion. 
to parents who give up their children, probably because of my background. So when I looked at Nini's scenario, well, just I, my because, heart goes first out. Of all, to, let me my tell heart you goes out to a her. A child is God's child. A child don't belong to you. It don't mm. belong to you. Period. A child I, is a child. Period. I get it, but I mean, I have an I have an aversion to parents who give up their children. And when you do get to see glimpses of the real Nini, like when she broke down at that reunion, when she was talking about her mom, there's hurt there. I understand that. And so maybe I did lash out at Nini's mom. Maybe I was wrong for that. I like for you guys to keep me honest. But I have a real aversion to parents who give up their children. It might just be So, my But what does that have? Was that Nini fault? I, but I wasn't saying oh, I was okay. only talking about the Nini's mom who slept with the best friend and then sent Nini away and punished her. I didn't say that Nini was at fault for that. Is that how well, it came I, her calling, I am saying her getting on there calling people racist and still thinking she's going to have a job is stupid. Because mm -hmm. let me tell you this, work, I work, I work at work. a place where it is racism, but I'm going to tell you this, I do need a check, but I know how to play the game, and I know at the same time how to put somebody in a predicament where they looking stupid in front of everybody. It's all in how Amen. you do things. It doesn't That's matter, hard. it doesn't matter how she, it, it, who, if you love her or whatever. I speak up all the time. There's people who sit there, come talk to me about everything that's going on, and I'm looking at them like you could talk to me now, but you can't talk in front of the group. You want me to speak up for you? No, I speak for myself. Whatever you going through, you need to bring it up in the meeting. I'm not bringing it up for you. I'm, I'm. They already looking at me like the person who always telling on everything. What they call me, Miss HR lady? You damn right. You ain't treating me right, and you doing stuff that ain't in line. I'm taking your ass to HR, and you gonna be the one that they're calling and disciplining and writing it all up in your file. It's how you play the game. If y'all want to, y'all want to sit here and defend her the way she went about timeless? the way the things she timeless? did. That's timeless, crazy. Your, timeless, your mic, mic is a little loud. Um, you got a good mic. Turn it down just a, just a little <laughs> bit. It's crazy how people are trying to defend her behavior. Okay, like I said, I like her sometimes and I don't like her sometimes. But to sit here and say that she did nothing wrong and the way she carried on, that it was okay for her to sit there. I'm not saying they weren't racist. I'm not even saying so she didn't have a right to, to do that. For, but to sit there and say they should take her back after everything she said. Like, come on now. I think Nina can speak up. She can speak up for herself. I think that one of the things is if you have a job and you making whatever you make at your job, and then you decide to say, okay, then your job say, oh, well, I'm not going to give you that promotion. And you say, okay, cool. And then you walk out and you like, F this job. My manager this, he this, and he that, he that. And you telling everybody in the building this and that. And then when they fire you, and then you're like, well, we could have just talked it out. Well, but you just went around the building saying all these nasty things about me. Now you want to talk it out that you, that you need a job? That's what we are saying. We say, we're not saying sis can't defend herself, but she literally did not get her way and then in, for about a couple months nini was here is it a coincidence is it, is it this is it that <laughs> like she was saying, we looking at her like bro what she was making all that money you literally made money to sit at a table and argue millions of dollars but was she fired go back and forth i'm i'm sorry but was she fired or did she walk away because i thought they offered her a six um well, episode okay, well, she contract she and she said no away from it right but, but she walked away from it, which was her fault. But you still went on this hate train. You still went on the media mm -hmm. hate train. And you got on every show that you possibly could get on. And you was like, NBC, um, Bravo, Andy, blah, 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 blah. And, every, and then everything is always everybody else's fault. Nothing is ever Nene's fault. But oh, had she rip. took the six episode thing, the next season, that's when everything happened in her life. They would have definitely brought her back exactly. in and she would have made triple the money. And that's what I said. That's what I said earlier about Claude. When you look at Mary the Medicine, they made her a friend of. Well, clearly that was not good enough for her. So she went up there and she showed her ass and then she came back to be a full time housewife. Nene could have did the same thing. Um, look, no, 
Look at look at Sheree. Sheree was a friend of, and then she became a full time housewife. Nene could have came back and been a full time housewife, and she would have took those episodes. And who knows? Those six episodes might have turned into twelve episodes. They might have turned into her being up there the whole season. But she didn't like that, so then so she so she didn't get her way. She literally talk, did not get her way. Let's talk about those six episodes. Nene's contract used Nene used to be able to basically write her own contract after she kind of figured out the negotiations. She had her management. They were paying Nene more than anybody else. What? Let's say about either 150 to about 200,000 per episode. So that would have put her at a million for the season more than likely a million plus. So it's not like they're saying, oh, we're going to cut you and you're not going to do it. But if your 150 to 200 would put you at 3 million and they're not getting what they need out of somebody because there is a budget at a certain point, you exhaust your ability to make money. It doesn't matter if you're on a job, it doesn't matter if you're on reality television. That six episode arc could have been used to show. Hold on, somebody is echoing. That six episode. Um. It could have been used to show how important you are to the show. There were little changes, little tweaks that she made. But I think when Nini said that the network told her she was unhappy, that, again, guys, should have been a context clue. That should have told all of us that Nini was probably giving those people the blues behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you have exhausted your welcome. You made a lot of money for us. But those last couple seasons, they said she was walking off stage. It was, it was, she was walking off sets. It wasn't just the reunion. She was putting in a lot of phone calls. She was trying to do things. And at a certain point, she can say that Candy gets favoritism. But if Candy's the one who shows up, doesn't give them a hard time, works with them, makes them extra money through those spinoffs, that might be why Candy gets preferential treatment and Candy still has the ability to call the president. Whereas if your head gets big and you still think you can throw your weight around, sometimes, you know, what did Monique say? Uh, <laughs> what did Monique say on, um, on sometimes when you do clownery, the clown comes back to bite or something like that, buffoonery? That Maybe was on Charm School, yes. Charm School. What was the quote? What, what was the quote? Was it clownery? When you do clownery, the clown comes back comes back to bite. I think that's really what it was. She was giving us little context clues. She used to be able to call the president. The Bravo said to her, we know you're unhappy. All these things, I just wish that Nini would have said, I was having conversations with them about things that I needed to see differently. Stand in it. If you felt like Kim was a uh, racially charged co-worker who gave you the blues then just say that it didn't have to be other girls were saying that that's one thing that i have just like when the caller just told me i didn't like that you said that or the way that you talked about nini's mom's affair she stood in it and i stood in what i said that's very simple i didn't say you know 10 other people agreed with you or 10 other people agree with me because it is what it is i said it Nini missed me with those opportunities because she always liked to say in that interview, well, this is what was happening for everybody. I wasn't the only one who was doing this. Teresa pushed Andy. It was like excuse after excuse. If they did not like that, you put your hands on production. It is, you know, then just say that they didn't like it. But I felt justified in doing it because I said, don't go in my closet. That is a real conversation. I didn't like how flippant she was, especially in part two, about her own actions. But we have well, Sailor Goon. Hold on really quick, Phil. Sailor Goon, Nene fan? No, not <laughs> after season six. Okay, where did where you, because you just got on, jump in. Um, I, I echo your same sentiments. I feel like it was a, a lot of bullshit. Like, I don't know where everyone is seeing this great interview. Like, I felt like Carlos sucks. The follow-up questions, there were so many that I had. And the crying, I just, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't think Mimi needs all of this adulation. Like, and I don't know what this is supposed to do for her future as far as her being on TV. Like, it didn't make any sense to me. There was no self-awareness. There was no accountability. There, there was no ownership of why you and Bravo and BC are in this space you are right now. It was so weird for her to 
look to the camera and tell Andy, I'm so happy. I know you always wanted to be a dad. What are you talking about? You planned his baby shower for his first child. This is not your first conversation since he became a dad. I, I just don't know. Oh, I don't she was talking about she hasn't been around him since he had the little girl. Mm -hmm. I think that's what she was yes, saying. Right, right. Yes. But it sounded like she was saying, oh, I know you always wanted to be a dad, buttercup or something. I don't know. It was strange. It was really, really, really strange. The fact that she thinks she can hurl those serious allegations and then think that she can come back to the network and, and she's put, trying to put on this, this, she's very arrogant. It's like, oh, I would come back for the fans. No, you'd come back for a check. And I don't know why anyone here thinks that she would ever even be allowed to after suing a network. I don't give a fuck about Andy. I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't care two shits about Andy. He's a dickhead, okay? Yes, he has contributed a lot to the cultural zeitgeist. So has Nini. Thank you. We are very happy. But I don't care about her calling him a cokehead. I really don't. But I do think that you cannot just carelessly allege that a media conglomerate like NBC is allowing and encouraging racism. And they are, but... And then, where, okay. and, then, and then where are your receipts? It just Feels seemed like she was doing that because she was ego tripping. Like, I just, I don't, I don't get Nene. I don't get Nene. And then to, then to allege that and then want to be back on the show, a media conglomerate like NBC does not exist without having a DEI department. Okay, so here's not the not thing, right? Diversity, diversity, equity, diversity, equity, and inclusion. So if you, mm -mm, had I mean, that's all if you had if you had grievances that you wanted to air, you could have. There was a channel, there was a chain of command. You didn't follow the protocol. If she did, it would have been in her lawsuit. Has Look, anyone me, read her lawsuit here? Let me tell you it's something. It's bullshit. I, it's bullshit. Oh let, let me let me tell okay, you so with that with that in, the inclusion stuff, oh, please. That's all fake. I work in the corporate world. When they brought so that, I. when they brought that that part up, it's all fake. Okay, oh. it's something there to put people in place to make them feel like they're being heard, but they're not. Exactly. I'm telling you facts because I can't say where I work, but I'm telling you facts. It's all fake. Can I? Can I? Can I? Oh, go ahead, man. And then the past after you. And uh, okay. excuse me. I, I just wanted you. to say one. I just wanted to say one quick thing about her claims of racism. Do I think that there are some issues that Bravo Bravo could have worked on? Yes, but my issue is why are you still around Kim, trying to include Kim on stuff? Right. Why are you still talking to Kim yes. if yes. she is a racist and put you through so much? Why does why do when we have this conversation about Real Housewives? Yep. Do you include Kim Zosiak? When Greg died, I don't care if she would have came or not. If you were racist, stay away from me. That looks weird. Do oh, I Phil. think Kim is a racist? That's yes. what that's what pokes Phil. holes. That's what pokes holes in her allegations. The fact that she still wants this continued relationship. Yeah, Bill. What did you think like, specifically when Nini said or Carlos said, "I wanted you on that reunion special," and Nini was like, "With Kim Shere and Deshaun and Lisa," and she was like, "Yeah, she would have gone to that special while that lawsuit was going on." And mm. sat next to Kim Zolciak. That was weird. Wait, you're talking about during this season when they all met up at the restaurant? No. No, when Carlos had his Carlos night and show. Oh, oh, oh. I don't watch anything. It's, it's, <laughs> let me say this, and let me add this about Carlos, just to deviate for one second, ma'am. You know, Carlos is a sneaky little bastard. <laughs> he really he is. He is. <laughs> he is a little like sneaky. I like that he's he, sneaky. He is really sneaky. And can he produce some good reality TV shows? Yes. But the one thing about Carlos that pissed me off, and people can get mad at this next statement, when he brought up Giselle and Robin and Portia and Claudia, why didn't he bring up Erica Jane? Why didn't he bring up Lisa Renner? Why didn't he bring up Dorit? Why did he only bring up the black girl? 
why, why didn't he bring up Tisha from, from his show? Why can't he bring up nobody from his own show? <laughs> because well, he already know they're not on the same level. He already know they're not on the same. Level. Exactly. He didn't bring up none of those girls. He only brought up the black girls. Carlos, but the one thing that I will say, Carlos cares nothing about none of these women. Carlos cares about Carlos. Mm-hmm. You got you know Nini would have read him too. Call Carlos for doing what Carlos did to get Nini on. Carlos gets in there with these women in their confessionals when Carlos was just a producer, not an executive producer. Once he was a producer, it was at a whole nother level. What we saw was probably exactly what went on from day one on RHOA when Carlos was put as Nini's producer. That's that's how you produce content. You get people to say things that they would not say otherwise. You set up scenarios and situations. So I'm never going to fault him for that because look at what it did. Nini sprayed right. everybody right. Without, well, without thought of ramification or whatever. Well, ma'am. Well, ma'am. Well, then Carlos is to blame for making this Frankenstein monster as well. Ooh. So he needs to sit in that truth, too. Now, he's sitting up in here talking about some, oh, maybe her and Andy can make up or whatever. Can they just sit down and talk? Would he sit down and talk to somebody? Where his interview at with Monique since she left the show? Where that T at? Because she said the money wasn't right. Ooh. Which is why he can't afford Nene, by the way. So y'all stop acting like he don't go, she don't go to own. That's not happening. He cannot afford her. I think the price is drop. The price is drop. I'm sure the price has dropped, Autumn. I'm sure the price is dropped. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he can afford. You know, <laughs> can, can, get chocolate can, I make, can I make one more statement? One, one more quick one, and I think I'll drop off unless y'all want me to say. My only other issue with this interview with Carlos and Nini is. How can I put this in sound dignified? It was trash. No, we all know that. (laughs) The only thing about Nini that Carlos needed to tell her and to remind her is if it wasn't for the other women, all of your gifts, memes, quotes, all of that stuff would not exist. It's an ensemble. You're not a solo act. Michael Jordan would be nothing Thank without you. Scottie Pippen, without yep. Horace Grant, without Dennis Rodman. He couldn't win all those games al- alone. Yep. Nene has to learn to work with a team. And oh, this was my thought. It came back to me. Baby, you are a contract worker. You do not right. own the Real Housewives of Atlanta. NBC right. and Bravo came up with the idea and gave you an opportunity. Mm. They make the contract, they break the contract, and they can decide who they want to work on their contract because they own the show. I think she should have listened to Mariah Huck because that's what happened with Mariah. That's how she got lost out of stuff because she she forgot that she gave her rights away. You don't own the Real Housewives. Is it the, is it the house that Nene built? Yes, but she also had help from Kim, Sheree, Candy, Cynthia, Portia, Phaedra, and the rest of the ladies. Well, you with Mariah, are not- with Mariah, I- Mariah is an executive. She she got to keep her executive her executive producer credit. That's something Nene was never a part of. Y'all right, keep saying that Nene's right. not a team player, though. I don't see that. I have seen Nene be a team player and fight when? with these girls. Well, while she's not gonna act we're not gonna act like y'all. Nene just it's just this horrible one woman show. I don't think she's ever said she was a one woman show. Because we are going for us to be we are going kinda hard. We gotta acknowledge too at the same time. I understand her interview, you guys want accountability. I personally didn't look for, when she was doing her interview, I never said, oh my gosh, this is going to be the interview where she takes accountability. I'm looking for Nene. I wasn't looking for this to be some in-depth interview. I got what I I got what I got came to see when it came to Nene. And I understand the frustration so, of a lot of no people. Change, we got to let her finish. You said no change? No, fin- finish <laughs> your thought, Otto. I don't know. I just I don't see I see her being a team player. I see a lot of times they did conspire to work against her. 
a lot of times she didn't have people to film with. And I, I, yeah, I'm sorry. I feel that way. I, I see it a little bit differently than you guys. And that's okay. Can I no, ask you, if you, you feel that, that way, hold on, hold on, did you on, think she did what she second. needed? Hold on one second. I'm glad that Autumn came up and spoke her piece because people were asking, where is the unbiased opinion? And I Thank think you. that's what we just got. Somebody who likes Nene, holds her accountable. But like most people who viewed this, they don't care that they didn't get accountability because they've never gotten it from her all the way from season one. Oh, uh, so really, really quickly, y'all, did y'all think it was just spur of the moment that Nene chose this color? Or do you think that she was tipped off at what the reunion colors would be? I and thought it was planned. I thought it was totally she planned. Was I thought Carlos, off. yeah, I, I thought Carlos was. I thought it was spur of the that. moment. I think I she, don't think I, it was for the moment. Was oh, that's the same color as their reunion colors. Like, I think they, that was Carlos clear. told her to wear that on purpose. And I'm going to share debut you this debut this interview right before the reunion. Well, I'm here to give it to Nini. She wore out everybody. There were a couple girls Absolutely. who did okay on their outfit, but Nini, her look, this is the she best. Looks, she looks she looks beautiful. A long time. Does. She looks uh, amazing. In comparison, Candy's outfit is okay. Um, the, the girl at the end is, you know, just like she is on the camera, just kind of there. But I didn't like. The, I didn't like. Oh, sorry. The girl on the end is. I don't. Um, Sonia. Say, the, race the race or the track star. Yeah, I didn't like it. But Nini came in. If this was planned, this was great because she's gotten a lot of attention, and her outfit was. I would if she were on that cast in this outfit and that hair, I would give her best dress yeah. for yeah. Can I respond to Autumn's statement? Yeah, sure. Well, I wasn't Autumn, done, but yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, you know, you Autumn is my home girl. Y'all know oh, I, I, I love, love me some Phil. Autumn. Yeah, me and Phil, we we tight. <laughs> That's my girl. But as much as we say Nene has been a team player, but Nene, you know what happened? Nene didn't take her own advice. You never win when you're dirty. And she has been dirty to some of these women. And she has said a lot of nasty things. And I do believe she has conspired. If she thinks people conspired against her, she's done it to other people. She didn't mm -hmm. think her They've own advice. They've been dirty to each other, Phil. They've been dirty to they each have. other. I, I will own that. But see, that's the other part. She don't acknowledge that. That's when she part. told <laughs> Cynthia she should be fired. When she keep going in on candy in her bag. Yo. That ain't I agree with you. I agree yeah. with you on the candy situation now. Speak? You already know how I feel about candy. <laughs> I agree with you on that. And I ain't even a candy. I'm not even the biggest candy fan. But I have to give it to candy. If this is a game, Nene is playing checkers and candy is playing chess. Period. Agreed. Agreed. Do you think Candy, do like you think Nini. Nini took the opportunity to make this interview since she wanted to get back on the show? Do you think she took the opportunity for this interview to help her with no. all the crap she's been through? No. No, she, she, she didn't. didn't, own she, it, didn't, didn't own she didn't anything. come off endearing. She didn't appeal herself to the people who stopped watching her since season 12. She came on and reminded us that she is the same Nini. Like, so does no why are you one, surprised did no, by one, that? Did, did no one detect the hubris of these girls, these girls, these girls? Like, why are you positioning yourself as if you're so different? Well, that's how a she's, lot she's of these girls says. have more tenure on this show than you do, Nini. Well, Nini's they always said these girls this long. whenever she speaks about the other girls. She's always said these that's girls. The problem, but, you know, that's though. nothing. That is the problem. She's that's been amazing. like that, Arrogant. though. She's been like that. She's yeah, always had that right. sentiment. I know. She hasn't changed. That's what I'm saying. Right. Who she supposed to change for? Exactly. This is reality, boo. This is reality. She's going to be her self from 99 to 20 no. to 9. Well, yeah, sure. she could find self-awareness, though. Yeah, she needs to be well acquainted something? with self-awareness. Yeah, self-awareness, but at the end of the day, if she's not on the show, she's not on the show. I wouldn't, if I was Nene, I wouldn't even want to be on that show. And I'm mm -hmm. even fan. That's like, the bump, point that we're trying to... <laughs> right, right, right. But my thing is, but my thing is, I y'all just, y'all just 
y'all have all the mercy for everybody else. Nene gets no mercy. She gets mercy. But, but what it is, is that. I'm a type of person. I'm like, I have a big personality. Most people with big personalities, people just don't like them. It's because we're, yes, That's it is. True. big. A lot of people with big She's personalities, saying, oh, it comes off as arrogant. It comes off as arrogant. Yeah, she's but saying that people with big personalities are polarizing. Is what she's saying. A lot of times, well, you either love you or hate off, them. Though. It depends on how you come off. I, I would agree. With, I would agree with chocolate. Uh, people love or hate candy. People love or hate candy. People love or hate. Yeah, candy. there's very right. little room in the middle. And all so, of them have been nasty. And let me tell you something. If words for words, if you fight, if you fight, you can't get mad how dirty and low somebody go. Mm-hmm. You can't get mad because my tongue's sharper than yours. So you can say low, 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 but that's fine. And the only reason I had a problem with memes because I expect memes to be unbiased. So that's oh, why. Well, I, I think I'm, you think I'm I think that's <laughs> what <we> disagree. <laughs> He's a human being. He's a human being. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's like, where we disagree at. I think we're all Nini fans. Memes is like Nini. He terrorizes me. He's like, I don't get what the I don't get what. Y'all the said you were all Nini fans, so yeah. Mm-hmm. I all are Nini fans. I, 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 no, we, y'all we, don't we, like Nene. Y'all mad that she did the interview. It was mad that she did the interview. No, that's why we're mad. She owes something to But that's what I'm trying to ask. I feel like, just like Autumn said, when you when I went to look for the, at the video, I wasn't going for no, nobody but to see Nene. Period. And it don't matter if you go on one of the blonde hair, blue eyes girls channel or whoever channel, they always ask them questions about who do you like? Who's this and who's that other show? All of them get as but soon as Nene say her response to the question, then it's all oh oh she said this. Uh, so what? Oh well, we're oh, well. talking about Nene. That's why we're saying it. I actually don't care. Nene. Nene. Don't don't care who Nene likes or doesn't like. Y'all know what? Y'all all of y'all just sound like it's just it's funny because it's reality TV. It's but she's not in reality TV. But she's not rooted in reality. Because you can't in the real world, you can't but do what she did. The re- no, the reality is when someone says, Oh, well, that's the problem. She hasn't changed. She doesn't have to change. She's 40 now. She might be 50. Oh, well, she's oh, not gonna change. She is 55 years old. <laughs> it don't matter and how old is, you and is. is. And she is still a fool. Some of y'all got baby daddies 40 a years old and 30 years, years old, and they never life. did nothing for your children. So I mean, what's the difference? I don't know. I know plenty trying with grown people. Like get out of here. But this is but this is also a show where we can have our opinion. So yeah, have your that, opinion, if, if but don't bash one lady. And if then she says the that other if lady. there was something that we did not like and we didn't like it, we have the right to speak on it. And if there was something that she said that we like, it is what it is. It's a reality show that she's no longer on. She does not need to come back on. We have no interest in seeing her. Oh, again. so that's what we, it. Oh, y'all just don't want. I want to see her. I want to. I want to see her on the show. Okay. So she can work anywhere but on Bravo. That's we how you feel. We liked part one, you? and we didn't like part two. It is what it is. Nene can move on and do something else, and we'll see how she does over there. I was watching. And, and we'll watch it. And we'll watch it. I wanted to see how she was gonna pivot. What was her next move going to be? Me too. And whether or not she was gonna be strategic. She is yeah. not because she so is y'all so want cool. her to kick. So basically, y'all want her to bend no, over, spread it wide, no, everybody. You don't know, you don't know, you don't know how to move in there. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So y'all quote. want her to bow down to Master Man? No, 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 Nobody said that. Okay. We are simply saying I that y'all talk we are simply saying that Nene yeah. was wrong in some things and Nene yeah. was great in other things. That's all we're saying. We're not saying bend over and kiss this person, bend over and kiss but this person. I'm, I'm waiting on her response. I'm waiting on her to take re- re- accountability. I'm waiting on her to do this. She didn't do that. Who I wasn't can? waiting on that. Yeah. 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 I right. mean, it's funny. Well, it's you funny. may not feel like that, but that's oh, how we felt, and that's okay. I, that we have I, just, I just feel tonight. that it didn't benefit it, her to keep just pointing the finger, especially, and I don't care what anybody she says, hasn't especially had an the fact baby. that she wants to get back on the show. She hasn't had an interview since everything took place. And that's why everybody's so Y'all acted like she was sitting down with Barbara interview. Walters, rest in peace. She sat down with Carlos <laughs> Hitting. This ain't 2020, okay? This ain't 60 minutes. So what we well, she sat down with a lady, so you're right. She sat down with Carlisha King with another lady. Yeah. Oh they were all Zoom interviews. This is her first in-person interview. She's had plenty of interviews. Man, pass me some of that popcorn, please. 
Me I too. Like you sit up here and say what you want to say about Nene. Either we like her or we don't like her. You can, no, I'm not saying sure that you can't is. say nothing about Nene, but, but saying, it's oh, just y'all this and y'all that. Like we are, you right, y'all. As in y'all, we can have our own opinion, just like you having your own opinion and stating this and stating that. We feel how we feel about Nene. If y'all don't like it, y'all don't like it. If y'all like it, y'all like it. What else is going on? Right, okay. right. Okay. Thank you, Cynthia. I love you, but, but based on the views, everybody wants to see it. One second, chocolate. Good. What if it's this? <laughs> what if you had a lot of people who are like me, who were Nini fans at the very beginning, and as she kind of changed, it kind of turned us off, which everybody has the freedom to feel or not feel. If this interview was so hyped. And people were so interested in seeing the evolution. Can you fault people who were rooting for her before watching the interview, but who felt like the interview fell flat for acknowledging that they felt like it well, fell flat? Because I think that's well, hold me. On. Hold on, but chocolate. Do you kind of get what I'm saying specifically? A lot of people were rooting for her in this interview and it took them back to the changed Nini. And if they don't like the changed Nini, you can't force people to like that. And so now what? they're just speaking out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, guess what? I was looking for self-introspection. Oh, that was it. Just a modicum of it. Because there's no reason why Portia can release a book and Nini doesn't have a book out of her, her, her own book. There's no reason Nini why- has a book. Nini... Nini has a book. Oh, does she? didn't do well. <laughs> Oh yikes! Okay. Mess with oh yikes! Yeah, y'all are mess. Y'all are mess. This is what I'm there's, there's no reason why Nini. There's no reason why Nini doesn't have a red table talk or something equivalent oh, to. No. You get what I'm saying? Like she has the persona to be on TV. In what capacity? I don't know. I don't want to see her act though. I do know that. Well, it ain't about. But I you wanted know, to see. I wanted to see that she processed <laughs> everything that happened in a different way, in a more mature way, and it wasn't there. That's why we watched. She could have even said that she was going through something in that last season, and she may have no, made some no, no, mistakes no, 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 no. or Nina whatever. Let her finish. She has been staying since season ten. Please, let's not rewrite history. She's been staying for quite some time. No, but, but man, her last that season was that she was there is when she went over the top. And I just, I felt like I was just, I was at the point like, just, she needs to take a break. Nene needs to take a break. She's going through a lot. She's dealing with somebody who has cancer. And everything she was saying was facts. When they have cancer and they're going through chemo and stuff, they're nasty. And she had to stomach and deal with it and suck it up, which is understandable. You know, you do what you have to do for your loved ones. But what I'm saying is she should take accountability for the change that was made and just acknowledge it. Just say, I was going through a lot that last yeah, season. See, you Can know what? Nene have did, grace for me? Nene right. did First of all, let's get this. Nene did acknowledge some part of she getting blackballed, right? She's she's not um, doors closed for her. So, I mean, is that not acknowledgement? That's why not the acknowledgement that we're I mean, that's her, okay, why, guess what? It's an indirect way was, of saying wait, wait, it's an indirect it's way of saying I was wrong. Anything. No, not yeah. it's, not it's not acknowledging not acknowledging what you did to get you into the place where you and Bravo and Rissia are in right now. But why That's do we I care? Said. That's that woman's check. If that woman been blackballed and she realized that because she's we been are the viewers, that she she has accountability. We just she knows she did something. So we just I was hold on, no, no hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys, hold on, hold on, guys. Hold on. For one, there is an echo. So everybody's going to need to mute when they're not talking. Secondly, I know this is an open panel situation, but we have to allow other people to like fully get their point out. Even if you have a response, let them um, get There's their point out. Echo going on. So yeah, I'm going to just have to mute everybody really quick. There is an echo. Um, DGF, thank you so much for the super chat. DGF says, Mims, I wish you had clips on Nene and Trick Daddy's YouTube show, season two, episode five. Her hosting potential is on full display. She was charming and relatable. Thank you for the super chat and thank you for the tip. Let's check it out really quickly. Hopefully they don't demonetize this video like they demonetized the earlier video. All the time he is right now. If I'm able to take care of you, her, 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 the worst thing you can do is leave me because she wears me. 
she gets your part too now. Right. So, so I, you really take care of your women. Yeah, I like to buy stuff and eat their stuff. That's all I like to do. And I'm a, I'm a Libra. I'm a pleaser. I like to make sure that they're very much. Okay, side note, y'all about to be mad, but not only does Trick like to buy them and eat their stuff, he also likes for the women to eat him. He's yeah, we mouth. know. Ew. Us Libras don't <laughs> so claim him, by the way. Do I, I had no idea he was a Libra. Oh my God. I had no idea he was a Libra. I'm ashamed. Please say that. Wow. That's what I do. I'm a fellow pleaser. I'm, I'm down with eating the game. I'm sure you heard about that. Oh, I hadn't heard about that. I'm down with eating the game, and I'm not only the haircut president, but I'm also a member. So, if I eat you out, I don't mind you eat me out. Oh, that's a lie. Oh, wow. DGF, you, okay. <laughs> you got me for playing this clip. I thought we were supposed to be seeing Nene on display. <laughs> wanted the world to know that Trick likes to get his groceries ate. Oh my God, DGF, you got me. I don't trust you no more. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. I got I, one more. The, man, oh, hold on one second. I got one more super chat. Um, I think, or maybe we have a couple. Y'all have been like really uh, invested in this uh, Nene thing. <clears throat> Miss Cookie Ray, I can like Nini and still see her faults. To think that I have to like everything that she does is delusional. I can like her and be objective. She doesn't have to change. She can stay unemployed. Thank you, Miss Cookie Thank Ray. Thank you, Miss Cookie Ray. I, I think a lot of I think a lot of people echo Miss Cookie Ray's sentiments. I got one more super chat and then I'll let you jump in still. We are not watching any more of this clip. Yeah, you then really got me for this. <laughs> Oh, uh, ma'am, I would love to hear chocolate speak. It's okay to have your own view and opinions, but to cut others off with attitude is so nasty, so rude. I don't know if you're saying people are cutting chocolate off or chocolate are cutting people off. But yeah, guys, let's just be respectful and just sometimes agree to disagree. Thank you, Dana. Voice your opinions. Thanks for the super chat, Dana. Well, I apologize to both uh, Miss Chocolate and um, Autumn because I did cut them off earlier and I just didn't mean to. And I do want to apologize. Oh, it's okay, boo. Oh, you okay. Singing, we are a family. See how that works, y'all? We love each other, even when we don't agree. Willow, maybe her intent wasn't to change. She just wanted to have fun. Exactly. That's, possible. That's what Miss Chocolate has been. I don't know. I just added a Miss to her name. Is it Miss? That's what Chocolate's been saying. <laughs> Sorry, Chocolate. Um, That's all for the Super Chats. Phil jump in. Um. So I, I was one of those people that you described that I was hoping to see something that I didn't get out the interview, especially since part one I thought was so good. I thought part one she was excellent. She had her little faults here and there, but I thought overall she did so good. On part two, the way she just came after the ladies, I just thought it was just hater, hater, hater. No accountability or anything. That's my that's my main issue. I think we're all. I'm a Nene fan. I wish Nene could come back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta, but I don't want her to work in a hostile environment for a racist network either. I agree with I agree with Phil on that. Like I was, the first part of that interview, I was like, "Oh, this is great! I'm enjoying this Nene." I was like, "She's gonna laugh and this and that." But then the second part, I was like, "Damn." What happened? Like, where was where was the part one at? And I, yeah, I just Nene would have been like, I just wish Nene would have been like, I want to come back to ROJA not for the fans, but because it's what I built and I miss my show that I put on the network. We would have been like, oh, okay, sis, we feel you on that. But it was like, oh, I want to come back for the fans. But what if you not? But if, so you gonna come back for the fans, not have a good time, act the same way. The minute the fans turn on you, then you like, oh, I shouldn't have came back, or y'all don't know what y'all want. So I was just like, that doesn't make any, that doesn't make any sense. And I don't think Nene needs to come back. I mean, hell, everybody on the damn show, RHO, it needs to go. It needs to be a refresh. So I don't even want. I, if anything, maybe a legacy show, but to go back on RHO, it's a failing show. Like even Nene can't save the show, right? Um, somebody said I wouldn't have a podcast without Nene. Oh, oh what? <laughs> if Phil is your mic, um, that's the echo. Because when, when I mute you, it's gone. Um, maybe you could drop down and come back up. I'll drop the link for you. Um, that's partly true because I started off as a Bravo fan, and that's when I started the channel. So you know, but unlike Nene, I don't say Bravo would be nothing without me. I say, yeah, sure. I agree. Part of it was 
part of my channel is is really entrenched in Bravo because I am a super fan. So I didn't take that as a read. Uh, I dropped the link for you, Phil. Um, somebody else that I had cut off. Was it Fahrenheit? You've been very quiet. I've just been listening. Um, um, I, I couldn't wait for Q to speak, so I, I don't mind going after him. <laughs> I was waiting for Carlisha's name to come up. I personally, I don't hate Nini. I just don't love what she's become. And I I was excited to hear about her interview. I refused to watch it on Carlos King's channel. So I've been just listening. I do. I refuse to. Until he speaks up about what's going on with these shows. For real, for real. Um, he can just keep his opinion about Bravo to himself. <laughs> but I was looking forward to hearing what Nini had to say. Um, so I listen to everybody's commentary. Like I, I spent hours on YouTube listening to snippets here and there. And I was happy. I was like, okay, she, she sounds so, her thoughts were so well put together. Um, and I was like, okay, I can see where you're coming from. But this second part just disappointed me so much. Um, to say that you want to go back and have a sit down with him. Um, with Andy mm -hmm. Cohen, mm -hmm. yeah. Why? To say what? Do you think he's no longer racist? Do you think he's no longer going to keep to pick him? Andy loves Kim for whatever reason. I don't know what he sees in her, but he loves her. I don't think it's because she's white. It's the same way he loves Teresa Judith, and I don't know why he loves her so much. But some people can do no wrong in Andy Cohen's eyes. Does that mean he's racist? I don't know. I haven't dealt with him behind doors. Um, but why would you want to go and have a sit down with him? And you're saying you're still in. Well, she dropped her lawsuit, but I think it's because they're um, in arbitration. Um, so what conversation do you want to have with him? Fahrenheit, you just made me think about something that I have forgotten. I think Andy, you know, Carlos will say, you know, I'm just one of the girls. Andy doesn't say that. You know, it's two good girlfriends talking. That's what Carlos was saying about him and Nini. Mm -hmm. I think that Andy behaves that way. He just doesn't say it. I heard yes. from a pretty good source that Andy actually got in trouble back in the day for his closeness with Nini. Now, I can't tell you where I heard that from. But y'all know I'm not one to gossip, so you didn't hear it from me. But it was his closeness with the with the Bethany's, his closeness with mm -hmm. the Nini's, because it was like they were just friends. And at a certain point, once you reach executive status, those people who work under you, even though you're in a reality show, there has to be a level of decorum, which is also what Lizzo is going through. I will be talking about that probably tomorrow. Look out for that video. But I did hear he got in trouble. So it is, you know, surprising. You, you, when you were speaking, it reminded me of that. Oh, I didn't know that, but yeah, that and and you can tell that there are some people he's very buddy buddy with. You can see it when they're on watch what happens live. But um, I wish Nini well. I just want her to speak about something else. Like she, she spent too much of her time thinking about her past. Um, I made a comment on someone's channel. I said, I left, I worked at Safeway more than 15 years ago and five years before that at CVS. You don't see me sitting at my corporate job and I do work for a corporation too. I don't sit there and say, oh my gosh, CVS and my manager or my employees when I was a manager at Safeway. Like, what is the point of doing that or spending so much of your time doing it? Um, and it looks like that's what that second part of the interview was um, devoted to. But yeah, I love Carlisha, the name Carlisha. <laughs> so thank you, thank you, Q. I always look forward to Q on your um, on yeah when you um, open a link. So I like thank the, you. I like the troll mail, the memes, and Carlisha. I, I do it for him on on his channel too. We got Mika. Mika, jump in. She's new to the chat. You a Nina yeah, fan really or question. other? Can I ask a really quick question. Do you yeah. think Carlisha misses being on Bravo? Oh, yes. yes. 
Yeah, yes. absolutely. It's I, obvious. I think Carlos felt, and, and this is just me, just from what I can piece together. Y'all know I can piece some stuff together. I think Carlos felt slighted because as Nini progressed and she could fight her way to making more money, Carlos wanted to be able to say that he owned those executive producer rights to the show. And I don't think that the bra I don't think that the network was willing to get it. If you remember, Carlos started off as a producer with Teresa. He then got on RHOA. That was magic. He then started becoming like the executive producer, but I don't think that he had the same rights that he does with say Love and Marriage Huntsville because that's his brainchild, that's his baby. I think that he felt slighted and he moved on to greener pastures and through our, our, our HOA, the man had built a name for himself. And even the first few seasons of Love and Marriage Huntsville, they were very successful. It was a very successful show. So in his own right, I do think that Bravo probably could have given him more and they decided not to. And that might be why he has such an aversion to them and why he goes on these type of tangents. Because this was definitely a F you to Bravo. Yeah. yeah, him and Nene are the same person. They both said that. Yeah, like I, I don't even want to speak on Carlos because I think he's a little bitter from the the past with Bravo. How yeah. okay, how can somebody be bitter when they go from an employee to being a boss? Make that make you, sense. You can still and be boss like what though? But, but let from, me wait, 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 wait. You go from being an associate producer to a low level employee, and he ain't lying. It's low level. So you go from being a low level employee. To being on a black old, well, a formerly but black he's old he's network. bitter because he and wants to be. But hold on, Andy. we gotta we have to let we hold on we gotta let Ooh, chocolate baby. finish and they, then Mika. Boy, I'll they, definitely. Boy, they don't like you to they don't like you to take up for Nini or uh, Carlisha, do they? No. Uh, but we do. We don't get my whole, thing, my whole thing is I'm trying to figure out how a person go you know being a low level to being a boss. He a show maker. So how is a show maker man? Yes, he likes. Uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta, um, all of them, Beverly Hills, Orange County, all of it. Because when you are part of something from the beginning, of course you might follow it. You may not stick with it because you don't work it. That don't mean you're not a fan. He can be I, he a I regular ask, person. Really quickly, I asked that question because every time we look, everything is always about Housewives of Bravo, and I always be like, well, why is he not talking about his own shows the way that he talks about? Housewives and Bravo. It has nothing to do with him being a boss or this and that. I just they don't get the views, twin. No, he and does. He does. Carlos, Carlos is a lot. Car people can say a lot about Carlos, but he is a shrewd. He didn't. Person. Get, uh, he, he does didn't review his every own. last cast member on all of yeah, those he, shows. He have them on there every week. People he aren't watching them. Out. They're not watching, watching them. They're, definitely and, the and they're not going viral or trending. Yeah, so we we that cannot that. fault Carlos for doing the exact same thing that Bethany is doing. That. A lot of former housewives are doing Andy a lot of the other things it. that Andy they have are it. not. Hold on one second, chocolate. Andy it, works well, Andy, it's a little Andy different because he's still there, but Bethany is not there. Carlos is not there, and they're some of. It's like if you were Michael Jordan, you're not going to be talking about your baseball career after you retire. You're going to be talking about uh, the Chicago, the Chicago Bulls, and we can't fault people for that. I'm not going to fault. Carlos for making the money talking about RHOA because he was a big part of RHOA. I'm not going to fault Bethany who built New York on her back because she was a part of New York. People can get tired of it, but at the same time, we're talking about it. We're watching. I love that it. he talks about to Bethany's it. podcast. Well, I, love I think it gives like like an inside lens of a, a different perspective. Like I love that Carlos talks about it. Can I continue? Because I was actually cut off, but again. Sure. I don't want to oh, talk sorry. about Carlos because he is bitter, but I just want to <laughs> say overall, Needy just comes off as delusional. And what she did, I feel like she only took accountability on one thing, and that was her saying that she emasculated Greg when she got more money than him. So she did right. take accountability on how she treated Greg. But and she was right when she said that Candy robbed us of a Candy and Phaedra conversation she was absolutely right about that and I actually like Candy and it's time for Candy to go because she no longer serves a purpose on the show 
Mika, and for... but M- Mika, I'm Go, sorry. Mika. Just oh. Mika, just like really, really quickly. Can we give her credit for the accountability of Greg? Because Carlos pulled that out of her. She would have had us believing that Greg Listen, was the one who was I don't, always at fault. I, I don't like Nene at all. But again, she did take accountability with her saying she emasculated Greg. Compared to everything else she crapped on on all the other girls, let's give her a little that little credit with Greg. That if if we gonna get, if I'm gonna give her something, I'll give her that. But again, another point I wanted to make was Carlos saying that she's the best reality TV star ever. That's not true. Who's nope. the best reality TV star? You don't like star? her, Mika. Mika. You don't like her. So why would Mika. you? Mika. I, listen, wait. I don't, like, I, 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 don't, I don't, don't like Kim. I don't, I don't, have I don't like Kim people. Kardashian either. But we have to. Kim Kardashian is technically. She is. I don't like that lady. But she is the most successful. Let's put it like that. The most successful reality but most story. successful is not synonymous with the best kim kardashian has no personality whatsoever like i didn't i didn't, I didn't, I didn't again like you, you saw you i i i i, I, I watch my words i said successful again tim they said when carlos said hi tammy roman guess what tammy roman was done wrong by shawnee and basketball wives and guess what she did she left she moved on she got 50 jobs and gigs and she doesn't harp on basketball wives anymore. That's that point. Facts. You don't see her going around every interview talking about, oh, Shawnee did me wrong and I wasn't paid. And Not anymore. No. She's talking about all her TV shows and her hosted. And T- Tammy got 50,000 jobs at the same time. Why Nene can't do that? I'm because she's Tammy, expecting Tammy, it to be handed to her because she claims she's the star Tammy, of Tammy ROJ. The network and Tam- Tammy actually does have a discernible talent outside of reality TV. But, can but why, act. But why me post. can't do what Tammy did? They they really can And they look down. And matter of fact, they look down on Tammy because she came from a more ratchet show. So why can't Nene do what Tammy Roman did? Oh yeah, I caught that shit. I'm not cutting you off, but I caught that slight shade when um she he said, "Oh hi, Tammy Roman." And she right, like, because a lot of people say Tammy Roman or Tiffany, uh, what's her name, New York. They're like, you know, with the... yeah, I caught that subtle shade from her. And, and another point I want to say is, I think that Teresa. I mean, I think Nene wants to be Teresa Judice from New Jersey because I'm rewatching all the old Housewives. And those girls on Jersey kiss Teresa's behind. The new girls come in and they all want to be up under Teresa and they all want to show respect to her. Right. Obviously, Andy shows a lot of respect and, you know, Teresa gets in good. That's what Nene wants. Nene wants all the new girls to come up under her and kiss her butt. That's exactly what she wants. And that's what she don't get. She don't. She wants them to kiss the ring and that's what they don't do. So I think it was time for her to go. If Nene feel like she's the only star, then why is she even there? She wants to be the only star. Why is she even there? If she don't want to be an ensemble cast, why she don't go start her own show? That's all. I'm confused. Why she don't go start her own show? Her family has literally had a, a she 10 been, seasons worth of drama. She been blackballed, Mika. She start, blackballed? Every, she said it. I'm just saying what she said. She had doors closed on her. She had she was it, in conversations. The next thing you know, conversations are over with. So that's why she's always see, that's, there's always TikTok. That's an excuse. That's yeah. such an excuse. If Nini's was how is okay, Nini's how is that a, an excuse when you're not a producer of nothing? She's when not, she was on College Hill. Well, Ka- okay, Nini, first of all, college every Hill, single network first of all, that's Mika, she did start her, it's gonna hold on change one second. every single Chocolate. thing. She did start her own show. If you didn't watch my earlier episode, this was what Nini's was show. This was Nini's brainchild. This is what Nini oh, thought was going to revive messy. her career. Oh, watch her, watch her <laughs> oh, play. Yes, you are you're looking for the light in the room. <laughs> Just know. Uh, the light. <laughs> reading class, one-on-one, is always a session. In class today, reading a bitch. They say I'm too much. But the truth is, they will never be enough. If you're coming for a read, sit back and watch me leave. Mm, this was sad. 
She should have asked Candy. <laughs> <laughs> she should have called Candy. She could have called Candy. She could have turned that a little thing around before she even put that out there. You could have called me. You know, you know, me. You know, you know, I'm going to take a football. I'm going to make a football analogy. Um, Tom Brady, we all know he's the most uh, winniest foot quarterback. Yeah. And guess what? He was never the highest paid quarterback in all his years of football. Who was this? And Tom Brady. Okay. The, the Tom Brady. He was never, ever the Why highest not? paid quarterback. <laughs> and guess what? When his contract ended with the uh, Patriots that, and he was in free agency, they didn't even offer him a contract. So guess what he did with his talent? He took it to another team and he showed them mm -hmm. why he was the best. And guess what he did in his first year after he left? He won <laughs> another Super Bowl. So yeah. again, if Nini, if you are the best, the star, go win somewhere else and show them that you are the star that you claim to be. That's it. And can I say something about your Tammy comment? You know, when Tammy left Basketball Wives, she has said she could not get a job because they had looked down on her for being on reality TV. So she had a hard time getting a job, but she just kept trying and trying and trying. And Tammy can actually act. Nene can't yeah. even, she barely can say her words correctly. So that's the I difference. Think, I think Nene said, actually wants offers handed to her. Right. Like she wants people to, uh, like yeah. Nene, I don't know if y'all know, but she didn't have to audition for the new normal. That was offered to her. That was offered to her. That's what I keep saying. She said. don't want to put the work in. Right. It was, was, was offered to her. TV show, so it was yes. offered to her. The well, Trump people get off listen. People get offered stuff all the time. But every time we say we don't like Nene, I mean, every time we say something about Nene, it doesn't mean we don't like her. It's the narrative is we don't bad. like her. You don't like her. You don't like her. No, we're speaking the truth about her. Nene cannot. No, act. I didn't say you didn't like her. Listen, Q. Can I say something, ma'am? Hold, no, hold on. Chocolate was talking and then um jump in after Autumn. Well listen, ma'am, let let these Nene haters go. I'm I'll sit back. <laughs> I love I having chocolate on this panel. Miss Chocolate, I love you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. I haven't I haven't been here for I haven't been here for the whole live. But for the like Wanda. She like Wanda on um Love and Marriage. Oh my god. For Miss for Miss Chocolate. Who said I was like Wanda? Hold up. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Chocolate share meaning. It's the stop. Uh, it 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 that part. Uh, that part. Okay, what? Chocolate, a, a question. Can I well, let me say something really quickly because I was after Q. What I was going to say really quickly was you guys are sitting here saying that Nene wants to get stuff handed to her. Did we all forget season one when Nene was literally going to LA for auditions, busting her butt? To get that was you know one. shows, season I know I, I understand. <laughs> what I'm saying is we're not gonna act like she don't know how to go out for interviews and go get the she work. Changed. I, 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 I think she, I really think she has she, been blackballed. I do. I think she, she has tried has. to get to Autumn. Yeah. To your point though, she was going out for all of these seasons and she was not getting the job. My that only is issue true. is. The only issue that I have is Nini was afforded so many opportunities from this show and Nini was smart enough to take them. But now after the new normal ended and Glee did not pan out for her the way that she thought that it would, all of a sudden now she's saying she was never pushed out. She was pushed out more than anybody. Nini wanted to be an actress who had never really worked as an actress. They helped her. The relationship that Andy had with the executive producer of Glee and creator of New Normal helped her. He put her in front of Anderson Cooper. They really, we have to think, guys, it's a business as well. Bravo is a business. It was a good look to have the Nene Leaks of the World um, do Dancing with the Stars. When Nene did well, the network did well, right? So we cannot just recreate history here and say that, well, nobody did anything for me. Yes, you were helped. There's no way that you would have been playing on Broadway in Cinderella if it were not for the fact that yep. you and Andy Cohen and Bravo built a super, I don't know, like it was a reality see, reality show chokehold. They were getting well, ratings man. that nobody anticipated that they were getting and they were all mutually beneficial to one another. That's the and point that was also, missing. 
Don't forget also Candy put Nene on a tour and Nene's mouth got her off of the tour. But I was very happy for Nene when she became an intern at Channel 11 News. I was very happy for her. She was an intern. Wow. I'm a pop star at 40. Wow. Is 40 and she wants to be a pop star. Pop star. That was funny. Yeah. I was happy can for her. Can I ask Miss Chocolate a question? Because oh, Chocolate dropped off. Aww. Okay, well, I wasn't here on the whole time, but can somebody tell me uh, why did she think that Nene did nothing wrong? Like absolutely nothing. She never like did one misstep. Like was that her point? Right. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Right. That was her point. <laughs> That's pretty much the premise. She oh, just okay. feels that's that every like. time that if if we say anything about her, it's we're hating on her. But that's not what it was. It's not about. It's a. She wants to get back on the show, and I and I'm gonna tell you, I was looking forward to this interview. I liked the first half. I was looking forward to the little shade, but what turned me off is just like she felt like. It felt like it was about me. I'm the best. Everybody else hates me. Everybody's coming after me. I don't want to hear that all day. Right? Don't nobody want to hear that through an interview. We're trying to see what do you how 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 have how how have you grown? Where have you what have you learned? Do you do you know how to move through these interviews to get your point across at the same time? Give the people what they want, but let them know you learned something and you ready to get back in there. But you don't have to crying? kiss nobody's butt to do that. Why were they crying though? Somebody explained that to me. Why was the two girls up there on the on the TV screen crying? I just it was so bizarre. It, it was so always weird. Crying. I said, Child, what is happening? Yeah, that was so weird. I don't want to get emotional, but but I just I just I'm, I'm oh my god I'm going to you're crying I'm going to cry too. Girl, shut up. <laughs> Jim, jump, Jim, jump in. Yeah, I uh, thanks for adding me. I just saw that this was live. I'm not sure if you guys already um, spoke about the fact she had thanked uh, Claudia or not thank, but recognize Claudia Jordan for re being the only housewife to ever read her, and she, she didn't, didn't really want to. Yeah, I, I think that was a she, positive. She, I think that yeah, was a positive. She, yeah, but that was like the only housewife where she was saying that could actually match her, and she didn't even really want to give Claudia. The fact that she won, <laughs> won because no one ever said that Nini won that argument, but she said they they was able to match each other. No, she said that she won. Nini said that she won. But um, Claudia was able to keep up with her. Right. Right. But yeah. She still, but she's she gave Claudia her flowers Claudia there, though. Won. Yeah. yeah. She gave Claudia her flowers, but she said she was like yeah. that so she's the only one. Yeah. The one that got canceled. The checks didn't get canceled though. You wish you had what I had in the bank, darling. You wish you had what I had in the bank. Right. 17 years I've been working. I pay my own bills. I don't think I'm going to You know you filed bankruptcy, girl. Never been arrested. I was arrested in my 20s when I was in college. But you some were in college? All right, I'm very college Seven educated. Times. You didn't know, bitch? You didn't know. Seven years. Spell black man. The ass is not it. silent, you honey. Let's go back to talk about being a stripper. I was a stripper, and I liked it. What club was that at? <laughs> That was 20 years ago. Let's talk about something oh, being caught. Uh, I'm in my 40s. That's I got, you're in your 40s. I am. You're like 20 years no, apart. No, we are not 20 years yeah, apart, That girl. was facts. <laughs> when you were my age, you had edges. Ooh. <laughs> that was a thing. And also, also, that was inaccurate. The other person who gagged Nene was actually Tanya, Sheree's friend. Cordell, oh, yeah. Oh, Tanya, yes. Tanya. Yes. So I, I don't know what you were talking about. This is why I say that the interview was... was Entertaining, but it was not rooted in reality. Well, Phaedra got her a couple times too. Remember the at season three reunion? And Phaedra was like, "Well, happy birthday!" And she was like, "You know, Phaedra got a couple." Everybody has read Nene just like Nene has read everybody. So I don't know why she's like, "Nobody's on my level." Nene, you right, good? Right. But we That's saw true. your reading room, girl. We saw you re your reading you know, room class from Clearly, you need some help. Yeah, didn't wasn't one of the reasons why she had left. Uh, stomped off of the uh, Real Housewives like reunion the last year she was on was that they saw her notes for reads yep. that she was yeah. going to uh, rehearse. Right. That was when yeah. Kenya called her ugly. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and she didn't call thing. her ugly. What she said was Yes, she my daughter like looks just son. like her father. <laughs> and what we know is kids. her children look just like her. That's not her. She called the children ugly. <laughs> I'm not cutting y'all off or anything because I was just, I happened to be watching the season 12 clips. I'm like, because that's because I wanted to see 
and even though that was fucked up and messed up what um Kenya said, but she did call. She said, you're the ugliest one up here. And she said she looks like white to yo. Kenya was getting into her, that reunion, the Zoom yeah. reunion. Kenya was getting into her. She got her. Yeah, she, she really, was. Even though some of the stuff was kind of mean, but Ken, when she said, oh, you looking like white chicks or something. <laughs> <laughs> she got her hair. It was funny when Claudia had called did her. Did she call her the noodles? Or something she was too? a meme. Yeah, she, Kenya, Claudia too, but Kenya, that reunion really got to her. I got a question. Didn't Nene kind of contradict herself when she said, um, I've never been envious or threatened by any woman on this show? Jealous. But earlier in the interview, she said, I didn't want Phaedra coming on on my show. Didn't, mm -hmm. cause isn't it a contradiction? Athens, yeah. Because mm -hmm. they knew each she other. She contradicted herself a lot. She wasn't envious. Though. Okay, she wasn't envious of Phaedra, though. So she, that's, she literally said, I don't want her coming on my show. She didn't say because she was jealous, though. She said they were both from Athens. Basically, like, they got one of that. They that's have a, one girl again, from Athens. That's but Teresa she didn't say that. That's a Teresa. I don't want Melissa on my show. Well, Melissa's trash. So she thinks. Yeah, Melissa. Melissa I don't can't like hold either. a candle to Teresa. So. I don't like them either. But that's it, it. It sounds the same. Her saying, "I don't want her on my show." Needy yeah, did not start the Housewives franchise. Why is she confused about that? Because I know, but well, half the well, she, she started. Doesn't, go ahead, they Kim. Don't can't, they don't cancel each other. Also, they have. She did not. Persona. She started the Housewives franchise. Are she had all this Atlanta. She did Atlanta. She started Atlanta. Yeah, she, she had an audition. She, 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 she was Atlanta. Was not the, yeah. Atlanta was she not the first. That. It was not the first city, though. It was, no, we no, said no, Atlanta. We didn't say the, Real Housewives. She, she brought the cast. She yeah, was Nene, like, I know just pitched the idea. Yeah, yeah. Nene Kim and She pitched the idea that, that was already there. Going around town. And but then the first that, black one. Then they the no, I don't think she pitched the idea. I think they were already doing. They were doing castings, and Nene was the one who brought the cast together. Okay. Right. Oh, I know that, okay. but her saying it's my show. I don't get right. it. It was, all, it was already a franchise in existence. It wasn't her mean, idea. It wasn't her that came up to them and said, hey, let's do Atlanta. What it was, was when they were interviewing the girls and, and picking the ladies, she was the one that said, I, you can bring this person and you can bring this person. I think this person will make a good person add to the show. Like, let's not, let's like not front. It's, it's She's talking Vicky her said. ish. Vicky, Vicky has every Vicky. right to say it, and so does yes. Nini. That's yeah, true. absolutely, Nini, absolutely, man. I don't like Nini, but, but Nini became but, but the Vicky breakout star of RHOA. We rooted for Nini, especially in those first four seasons. Yeah, Nini was the most mean person. Nini was the most talked about. And the, mm -hmm. they had the highest rating. So when she's do doing she it, she's do talking her ish. Do Vicky talk like this? Do Vicky talk like this? Because she the real OG. Do she talk like this? Yes, yes she does. Worse. She yes. said she off my oh, show. Yes, she does. She oh, absolutely she's does. Worse. She's a, yeah, she's actually worse. Agree. And they, wow. and they like, her I don't like Nene, but I, I can be honest. She Vicky does the same thing. So to, does to Teresa. All of them do it. Yeah, yeah Teresa's bad. Teresa's bad. She yeah. says it's my show too. Mm -hmm. Phaedra, you know Phaedra did her own. Phaedra did her big one with being Bobby Brown. On the TV show when I was with Bobby Brown. What TV show I wanted to get? You, when you called, I called me you to talk to you about doing a TV show. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Phaedra did her big one. Okay, um, we got another super chat, but guys, we're at two hours, so uh, okay. you know, shout out to Nini and Carlos question. for the interview. So I have a question: Does anyone think that Nini actually still has money now? I think, sure she got she I think she got money. I think Mendes got something. Mendes she sold her. Yeah, she, she probably got a cute million, million from uh. This this sounds tacky, but she probably got a cute million from Greg. If y'all know what I mean. Oh. Mm. No, not the mm. health. Not, mm. not the insurance. But it's, but it's real though. That's real. We don't know that though. We don't know anything what's going on with anybody's pockets, but your own pockets. She probably has money. I'm sure she made investments and stuff. But that Greg comment, mm, I wouldn't have said that if I was you. She um she 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 sold her home not for as much as she thought. If Nene would have just waited, the Atlanta housing market like quadrupled right after she sold her house. So she didn't get as much as she should have. Then she bought another like two million plus dollar um um penthouse. penthouse. Condo. Yeah, and she recently got rid of that. So Nene does have some money now. Her you know does she have any brick and mortar left? stores are now. 
closed. I believe somebody said that the the Lanithia Lounge is not open. Both of her clothing stores are no longer open, but yeah, the one up here Mimi the was a lot, a lot, valued at like twelve million. So I don't think she's hurting for any money. And as as mean as people can be to Nini, I still want to see Nini somewhere, whether it's on TV, whether it's a podcast. She's Me too. entertaining. Me too. And you know, I'll watch if she does something. Do That's I why I don't understand why she can't do YouTube. I, I just uh, do do, do little shorts on Instagram, TikTok, Nene something. Did, let's not forget, to, Nene did do that, but Nene's version of it still involved the housewife. She didn't realize that she's enough on her own. If you remember, at one point she was doing an Instagram show. She would have Kim call in. I showed you guys earlier on the video. Mm -hmm. That's when she kind of tricked wendy williams into calling in she doesn't realize that she is the moment she doesn't have to do that and once she gets past that and maybe carlos can kind of help her um because he's navigated his way to basically a hundred thousand they can take their show on the road so kudos to everybody involved for the nini lovers the nini haters thank y'all for being here um, fueled by intentions. Hello, Mims. Can you let me back up? My internet connection dropped me after I waited an hour to talk. I'll drop oh. and you can let her up. I'll drop. Um, yeah, I'll drop the link for you. Um, fueled for the intentions. Definitely come up and and give us your your breakdown. Well, Nini I don't, don't ever need to do that reading room again. That reading room that she was doing that is a, is a mess. So please, on if you do anything, just don't do that. I agree. I still want Nini to win, by the way. Like, even with my harsh criticism, I still want her to win. I just think she has to be smart about it. Like, I don't know why if Candace is doing tours at City Winery, why can't she do like a little 10 city like comedy tour? I don't understand. I don't think her comedy was funny. I don't think that that's her. I don't think that not that's raping. Her. Not, not, well, don't <laughs> not, say that word. Oh, sorry. Not, <laughs> not, um, wishing R-A-P-E on hecklers, but I don't know, something. Because she has a large personality. Um, Fueled by intentions, you are up. I think she, she needs muted. the backing, you... though. I think that's, that's what she's needing, right? She wants to have support and production behind Maybe her, she and she should build... just be the talent. I don't think she can just do the building herself. She needs the support behind her. Yeah. Which is why she was I saying think she has that. to build her community, though. Like, you see how Tammy first was doing, like, the Bonnet Chronicles before, mm -hmm. you know, like, to bridge her from, from leaving Basketball Wives. No, she didn't do, no, now? she was already, she was already, she had left Basketball Wives and went straight into acting. I know. Let's see. She I'm Bonnet Chronicles after. Her. She I know. I know. I know. I know. I'm saying that it bridged that gap. Like, she was able to leave that franchise having already established a community, right? And then segue into all of the other ventures that she's participating in now. Nini needs to build community. Yeah, but um, I think that by, was the on, point of this hold interview. On, hold on, hold on, guys, I'm sorry. Fueled by intentions, I, I pulled you up, but you your mic is muted and only you can unmute your mic. So you're gonna have to unmute um, so that you can get in the conversation because we, we held it up because we want to hear what you have to say. Okay, can you hear me, or am I am I staticky? No, we hear you fine. Okay, well, the first thing Melanin is that. Go ahead. Okay, I'm not a Nene fan, and I actually didn't find Real Housewives because of Nene. I actually found it because of Phaedra, and a person at my job who was not African American watched the show because of Phaedra, and she had her hustle on. Like, there's this girl. She's African American. She got like, you know, she's a lawyer. She's getting a mortuary. So I don't really know the history of Nene and, you know, how she feels like she started the network. So that's not how I found the show. But what I think is really interesting. Now, ma'am, this will be crazy because I tried to get on one of your lives about Melody, and I'm getting ready to say the exact same thing about Nene because I don't understand how people. Because you're the first employee, they can never fire you. They can never get rid of you. Like, how do you be, because you're the first employee, you help the company become successful, and now we have to give you a lifetime job. And I feel, I don't think that Melody feels that way, but I, like, think a lot of fans of Melody feel like she could never be put off um, Mary, Love and Marriage Huntsville because she is the one who kind of put it on the map. But just because you help a company be successful, that doesn't 
give you a lifetime job. It just doesn't. And I feel like we see this mostly with Steve Jobs. He started a company, and then they kicked him out the, his, the company that he started. So I never, never understand that about them. I do think Nene was unhappy. I think she was unhappy. I agree with the network, and I think that they should have let her go just like they did. I felt so sorry for Nene when she was like, everybody is starless. Because if you don't have, like, I don't know, I feel bad for people who can't have other people of empowerment around them. Like, I feel like all my friends are bosses, and, you know, we can all be stars. Why come it just has to be one star? And when Nene said that, you know, she wanted a podcast and nobody, I started to say, don't you have a YouTube channel? Because on there is a button that says podcast. Like, you can just push the button and you can have you a podcast today, Nene. You don't have to wait for anybody to give you one. And then the last thing is, is that if I was Andy, I would be so petty. Oh, if I was Andy, I would be petty, petty. I would not show any episode that Nene was on ever, ever again. I would put it in a vault and close it, or I would rewrite. They have so much content where they, you know, film the people and they don't show it. I would rewrite every single episode that she was ever in and write her out and rewrite the show, or I would just get rid of that whole cast and do a legacy. I would erase her, erase her from Real Housewives if I was Andy, because you're going to talk about me like a dog and anything like that, and now I'm just supposed to bend. So I don't know. I would be petty if I was Andy, but, you know, I'm not really a Nene fan, and this is all reality. You know, I'm watching a show, so I'm not as passionate as some of the other people on the panel. But, you know, I think it's been a great discussion. I think she's given us a lot of great content to talk about. And for me, more so concepts, you know, because you just like, you don't have no friends in your life that's a star. You're the only one. So that's all I have to say about Nene. So thank you so much, Mims. I always love your panel that you give us time to speak our opinions. So that's uh, all I have no to problem. say. I'm gonna... Well, hold on. Don't drop down yet because okay. I want to counter something that you said. When it comes to Andy and Nene, I don't think Nene can be erased, especially if you're showing old episodes, because she became the central character. People looked for her. Everybody else was kind of like peripheral, especially the first four seasons, I would say. Additionally, Andy continued to say her name, continued to use her image, and would still list her as the quintessential housewife. And Nene came out in an interview. I, I don't remember. It might have been with Michelle, AT Alien. And she said, I don't want them using my image anymore if I'm not on the show. She doesn't have a right to do that. But they recently took her off of just a, one quick shot of the original cast and people went crazy. So it's a hot button topic. I don't think that it would be a smart move for them to erase her. I get what you're saying, but I don't think Andy has that kind of power just because the fans would probably revolt. I agree. And I also think that the Mel situation is like apples and oranges because Mel is the executive producer, isn't she? She isn't. She is a. Yes, yeah, she is. She is an EP. On is that a vanity episode. title or is it a real? I'm not. Come on, Mariah. Oh, that is a vanity title. She does not Here have the come. ability to hire or fire. <laughs> that was sorry. Married to medicine. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know if it's real, but um, I don't know. I feel bad for Nini. I feel like she's hurting and she's jaded, but she doesn't want to show it. And I feel like that's the side we want to see. That's what made us fall in love with you season one. Like, I don't I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know who this new girl is. Guys, thank you so much for being here. I'm sorry, Fuel by Intentions, that you didn't get to come up earlier. I, I never want anybody to have to wait to come up. I want to hear what everybody has to say. You guys, I think that we can put this to bed. I think I, I'm ready to put it to bed. Good luck, Nini. Hopefully her and Carlos come out with something that works for both of them. Um, I will be watching and reporting and we'll be talking about it if they do. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. We definitely got to talk Lizzo. And there was something that Candy did that watch out for that video to drop tomorrow. And it's not just Candy's response to Nini. This was something else. 
I will see you guys. Have a good night. Wait, Mims, can, you, can you tell us? Can you tell us in the new video with about Candy what Cynthia did and whether or not those allegations by Nini are true? Say what? Remember during the interview, Nini said that a bunch of the girls, like the cast members, did something like they rallied against her. Was that true or no? You talking about Kim when she said that they had they had meetings about Kim Zolciak? She didn't. Nini didn't really specify. That was what what I was hoping that somebody she had it for me. She did specify. She said that um, for Kim Zolciak, all the girls know knew about what Nini was talking about because they had had whole meetings about it. Um, what what else were you referencing? That she said that um, Cynthia went behind her back behind the scenes to get her fired. No, I don't believe that. I didn't either, I, but I thought maybe you had background information. I don't have any background. All I know is Cynthia came out and said that that's not true. Yeah. So, I mean, it's it's a he say she say. So who knows? I didn't. I don't think Cynthia had any power in at work in her relationships. Oh. Noel even called Cynthia out and said, "I don't think you like yourself. Oh. Do you have right. low self esteem?" Right. <laughs> oh, yes, she did. Candy, do you think that Candy tried to get tried to do anything to Nini? Because they're also saying that too. Mm -mm. No. I don't think no. anybody could have severed Nini's ties with Bravo other than Nini because oh, Nini was quick to Bravo. Wig. Yeah. But okay, guys, thank you so much for being here. I'm going to see you guys later. Have a good one. Bye, man. Take care. Bye. Love you.